What up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame. Oh. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Lamar, aka King Lamar, aka to your girl. Get out my car. Yeah. This is Jay Willard, a podcast killer. I'm going to keep it just like that because there's too many AKAs with me and this guy sitting next to each other. Goddamn the AKAs. <laughs> so we out here looking like the whole fucking fraternity or sorority. Like, Let me get my AKA. Yeah, like, what okay? I'm saying. You, you've been having the AKA for but like as, 30 years. But as you can see, I just said it's Jay Willard. That's right. it, the podcast right. killer. That's, that's it. That's it. But no, this is Willard Wednesdays, man. You about to get some ghetto news from your relationship gurus. Bow. You yeah. did. So, hey, hey, I do want to acknowledge. Oh, well, you always bow. It's, it's Jay that don't. Bow. It's Jason, uh, our other buddy that doesn't do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, man, as you can see, mediator, moderator, roll call, like such a temporary level. I was talking about Labari is not here today. Yeah, yeah. Um, he he ain't nothing wrong with him. He good. He's just being Barry, you know. So I mean, being toxic. He literally picked up the phone. Was like, hey, bro, can't make it. Said, so, "Wow, he's. I'm going to sleep." Oh, I was great. like, "Fuck it." I mean, right. you know, I mean sleep, you, brother. You, you do what you do. We gonna right. do what we do. <laughs> nah. right, he'll be here next week. Yeah, but boy, we love you, even though you ugly and shit. But now, nah, what up, fellas? Man, how was your week, man? Good. Talk to me, man. What's up? Uh, I'm still healing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, from mm -hmm. this very terrible wound, and now I'm a little. You want to I gotta change my. You know what I'm saying? It's looking kind of looking kind of bad over here. Like change your bandages. Yeah, bro. It's looking bad. I took a shower and I came you back. You like vitamin E. I take a lot of vitamins. You need Iron, Man, Iron Man's whole Iron Man. outfit. You, need okay. to you do yourself. need the iron suit. That will work. At this point. That yeah. will work. Yeah, man. But I mean, I guess it's getting there. We'll see once I take this. When did that back. happen, by the way? Uh, about three weeks ago. Yeah. You sure it wasn't in like November or something? No, no, no. no. It was not that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. But as you get older, your body takes longer to heal. Ah, uh, so mm -hmm. his skin cells they you know they they work it. Sense, they, they trying they trying to get there. Well, Damn, how, old, how was older. your week, Jay? What can I say? Yo, my week was actually fucking fire. Yeah. Um, so much shit has, has happened on the in the earth in the world right. on this planet that on this rock. I was so excited to get back here. Nice. I was like, now nah, we got some shit to talk about. <laughs> nice. But like, mad shit happened. Like. Mash happen. Your week being great is a lot of shit happening in the world. Yeah, not so we can talk. Nah, <laughs> yo, no, you, you don't know the struggle. You don't yet. understand. You don't know the struggle yet. Oh, not coming up with uh topics, bro. It would be shit that we always. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, we be dying to find stuff, bro, and then exactly. Thursday, bro. everything goes down. We wake literally, up like, oh. literally on Thursday, the world will end. We be like, fuck, we just recorded last yeah. night. Why the shit every time, like, every, every time. time. Then next week, we gotta like, wait till next week. Yeah, that's yeah. old news. Right, right, right. Yeah. Nah, but so so much shit has happened. Yeah. I cannot wait to talk about it. Like, this, right. like this is, what about you, kind sir? Um, my week has been eventful. Not really. Um, it's just you know I'm learning that a lot of people don't need to be in your life. Like, mm. I feel like Damn. one thing I learned is like, yo, people really have an expiration date in your life or the position that they're at. They're at Wait, you ready. killing people? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, everybody you, can go. <laughs> you the equalizer. Listen, <laughs> certain people's position, does, like, people are not meant to always be in your life forever. So understand that some people, when they come into your life, they're going to leave one day and you just got to, you know, I pray that it's on good terms. And I, yeah. was, I was going, I had a lot of con different conversations where I'm like, oh, nah. You gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, so you was just exing people. It was it's really wow. like ah not picking up your calls no more. Ah, you can't wow. can't hang out with you no more. You was clearing your contact Wait, list. Uh, uh, so inquiring minds would want to know. Like nah, how, nah, how, nah. how 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 many people do you have at your disposal? Like nah, how, nah, nah. So how many conversations does this happen? So of course, I feel like this is gonna go to where it's about um women. You know what I'm saying this is not just women that I may or may. Oh no, anybody could get it. Uh, relationship. Fuck you, buddy. I'm talking about in general, <laughs> women, family, my bros. You know what I'm saying? Whoever people I work with, I right, you we we can't. Talk but you fired? Right. Oh, okay. We can't. I, I, okay. We don't we don't talk no more at work. Nah. Like you cross the boundary. Yeah. I'm not talking to you no more. Nah. Like, or you ain't doing that to me. I'm popping your tires. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. I, I, I'll get new ones. I'm pop those too. I, I, <laughs> I, and then, then it's a lot. Then I'm, I'm calling it. But either way, like it's a duck. You know what I'm saying? So I I probably had about four, four to five to six mm. strong conversations within the past seven days. Mm. Oh, so you just been on a firing spree. Yeah, man. Yo, listen, listen, you got to go. You got to go. Like, you know, you know, one thing I've learned. I got y'all. That's all I need. I, I like that. I appreciate I like, that. But one, one thing cool. I've learned in my profession, my, my, my daytime profession, mm -hmm. if you can't change people, you change people. 
If you can't change the people you're around, then change the people you're around. That's the same shit I just said. You just added more words to it. I, I just said this one makes more sense. Okay, cool. I guess, but yeah. <laughs> no, it makes sense. I, but <laughs> I agree. It took me a second to get it, though. Bro, if, you, if you can't change people, change people, bro. Like, there's no... At this point in time, and, yeah, and, and the, the time that we at... Got to put the inflection on the other change, though. So, Bro, if you can't change people, you change people. There you go. Now I'm like, oh... <laughs> no, just, if you slow, that's just, why you had to add words if, to it. No, if, you, you, you understand. I understood because I was like, change. If, if you slow, you gonna just change say the that. people. Oh, change people. If, if, if you slow, just say that. So listen, <laughs> long story short, whatever <laughs> circle you have around you, whoever you have, you literally don't have to keep them. Like, yes, you want to de- learn yeah. how to develop good relationships. You want to make sure mm. that you know you're doing your best to nurture that relationship. But if you've done all you can do, right. and that relationship is sucking. You yeah. dry and yeah. you are exhausted. Yo, listen. You got me dry. Hey, look, we we chop it up when I see you. you know what I'm saying when we outside, keep it cordial. You know what I mean? Um, wait, wait. So, so are you are you a bridge burner? No, no. So nah, you you nah. so you at least keep it cordial. Nah, I don't. I actually I don't like like burning bridges is one of the most worst things you could do. Always. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like I realize, like. At 27, I feel like I've run into people twice or whatever. Right? Three mm-hmm. times. Like, yeah, you always you end up running back 40 years ago, right. especially in business, especially mm-hmm. in this Atlanta market and black business. Right. Um, one of my mentors told me something. I was like, yo, <clears throat> in our circle, and their circle is like a tight, tight 10, mm. and then an extended 40 or 30 entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you have a bad rep with me where you did something vile, you violated me, if my man says, yo, I'm working with him. And he trusts me and be like, mm, this is what happened with me, but do what you want to do. You feel mm. me? Then now you just have a bad name and you just lost connection with a lot of people. So I look at that with life in general. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to burn no bridges. Yeah. It's cool. You with. definitely. I you know it's all fault. love at the end of the day. It's just on this level, we can't really rock how we used to rock. And, and you... maybe you need, maybe I need to grow up, which I'm not going to. Or maybe you need to grow up. Or mm. we, maybe right now is not the time for us to, you know what I'm saying? It's not the time. You you won't under and you ever realize you you get certain things like you understand something later on in a situation like ah that's what they was talking about. That always happens to me. Yeah. I mean Big Sean said what's the perfect girl if it ain't the perfect time. And I know we're not talking about girl and relationships, but that sentence, that that statement can go for damn near everything. One hundred percent. Yeah. You gotta know how to walk away from people and be okay in that. And it's all right. You're gonna find new people. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, but listen, I, I'm excited. I'm I'm excited. Right. I, w- I want to get into what the fuck has been happening. What are we talking about? We got mad shit to talk about. We could decide what we want to talk about. Media moderator rolls select the call stitching uh mm-hmm. two gas station pills. Two. Uh, no kind of how, um, I, how I leveled up. Uh no Vaseline. Uh damn Jay Willa. Listen, man, they sucking dick at sipping paints. Oh, Okay, <laughs> that's a real sipping dick. Listen, oh, that's, that's okay. So speaking of this Saturday, they uh, they, they, they sipping stroking. That's crazy. I they like that sipping sucking. Sippin we going baby. to the wrong. Uh, we going to the wrong. No, event. listen. I'm, 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 did Yo, you see the video? Y- y'all saw the video? And that nigga and she was just taking it. It's so crazy. Bro, I got so Do many. You have questions. the videos. I have the video. Okay, so when you we ain't see the video, I ain't see it. Nigga, I got you. Okay, hold on, hold on, <laughs> wait, 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 until we get to it. <laughs> Let me, let me let me let me get it ready. Okay, so so that's one. That's one. So we got we got we got, we got to talk about that, right? All right? Something that just happened, like recently, like just like just now, just happened. Yeah. Uh, Nelly Nelly got a sex tape that was recently leaked on Instagram. Nelly getting his dick sucked and sipping. <laughs> no, no, <sorry>. but <laughs> yes. <laughs> not at the sipping paint, but he was definitely getting his down I mean, down baby. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was, he was <laughs> catching the he was catching the top, but a lot of people are killing him. Uh oh, because you know, well, the women are killing him because Uh-oh. they're not. He's not what they envisioned their whole life. Stop that! Are you, oh, are you? Wait, oh, he got I, a mini wee wee. Yeah, yeah. So, oh. so, wow. what so, was the angle of the camera? I mean, I don't know. What if the head just wasn't that good. Listen, what if Shorty got a big ass head? Like, who knows? Listen, listen. I big hands. Bro, I'm on. I have that from a girl with a big ass head. Though. Bro, I'm, I'm on Twitter. <laughs> I was like, yo, you. Just- I'm right. on Twitter, <laughs> and and what I, what I frequently do on Twitter, I'll go to see what's the trending <laughs> topics just now, just to see yeah. what's going on. I see Nelly. I'm like, okay, what the fuck happened with right. Nelly? As soon as I press the link, I'm like, oh no, I don't want to know what the fuck happened with Nelly. Uh, like the very first video was Nelly catching top. I'm like, oh wow. So Nelly is not hitting me holler. Wow. <laughs> no, no. 
<laughs> no, so I, so me, I'm like, okay, cool, whatever, close it, and I'm done with it. So I'm, I'm I'm on my timeline. I see one comment float. I see another comment float. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Right. Every woman was like, ah, oh, damn, that's Nelly. Ah. Oh. Childhood, Nelly, childhood ruin. No, it was on his Instagram, and it's his voice in the back. That nigga was like, "Give Instagram. me two purse." <laughs> like it was Nelly, bro. Well, what do you mean? It was, it was on his Instagram. He posted by accident. It was on, it was on his stories. Uh, so he so, posted it by accident. He said, "We're, we're just introducing the topic." Damn it, damn. Oh my bad, my bad, my bad. Shit. Can't be. <laughs> that is funny. And that was really quick too. <laughs> <laughs> right. I told you that. It was. But look, um. More importantly, um, freeway, freeway. We, we have to send healing Philly power, freezer, healing, healing energy on on, on on onto that. Yeah, man. Um, he he lost his second child. Second which is child. That's very difficult. Nuts, and that's very and I difficult. I think he only has it two. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 what, it was cancer, I believe. I want to say this is that's crazy. But we just want to uh, send our love and prayers and you know healing energy to, uh, your way. Um, I know that's fucking. Yeah, that's that's crazy to do. That's just that's wild. That's fucking crazy to do. It's deal crazy with. to lose a child, but then to lose both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got that. Um, we got uh, Joe Rogan. Oh, listen, it's been a fucking bro. It, we're in the podcasting space, so like when this shit hit, uh -huh. it's been crazy. It is it dealing with music, it's dealing with podcasting. Right. He he dropping the nigga word all over the place. It's 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 just nuts, nigga man. We got it. We got. I ain't never. It, it. I ain't never. I remember there was one time that I said "nigga" with the "er" by accident. I was like being funny, but then I, I, I heard. I was like, mm, "I'm sorry." Right. <laughs> <laughs> Apologize to everybody. I was talking to a black person. I was yeah. like, "Oh, these nah. niggers." They're like, like that, was, that was tough. That was yeah, you're right. That's tough. So yeah. we got to talk about Joe Rogan, bum ass. I mean Joe Rogan. We got to talk about that. Um, Yo Gotti. He, he he just been all over the place. Yes, Bro, like I said, there's, there's so much shit that happened. I don't know what y'all want to talk about. We got to talk about black history. We got to talk about these it's businesses pandering and taking our dollar and not really fucking us for real. Bro, there's so much shit. It's a lot going on, y'all. There's so much shit happening. And it's like, yo, I couldn't wait to get back to this, yeah. to our platform. Uh, so we could talk to our people and talk our shit. Since oh, we shit. Are. Free crack pipes. And free crack Joe pipes. Joe Biden is giving yo. free crack pipes. Bro, it's it's about to get wicked in here. How about this? Where y'all want to start? Y'all want to start with the uh? We'll just we'll just go down the line. Sipping dick. I mean, <laughs> damn, sipping, sipping, yeah, sipping, get your dick sucked. All right, so <laughs> sipping suck, uh, sipping suck. Who, 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 you want me to explain it? I didn't see it. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so you so said video, right? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, bro. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> excited about this video. Yo, press uh, press play. Oh, we got to send that to wait. Yeah, we we, we gonna have it. We, 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 hell yeah! Yeah, we can play. There's no copyright infringement on that. You too. <laughs> they don't want it, bro. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the middle of the bro, in the middle, in the aisle, boy, right, just let me get that. So, so there's a couple of things that I want to um, <laughs> mm -hmm. point out, right? Mm -hmm. So the first, uh, the first Yo. thing is is that with oh, here's what happened. There is a sip and paint where um, I believe people. I'm not just gonna say women. People are painting a naked man right right now, this is a common thing paint a naked man sculpt to him you know you get to show sure. his whatever blah blah um that guy ends up throat humping a woman there and like not just like like shorty head turned to the side yeah no, going yeah. crazy going off. honestly me? but no, I, I i think she assaulted him no, 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 no. She, she wasn't even touching nothing. He was holding her head. No, but she, the, he didn't want that to happen. It's these, 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 these trifling ass heifers. I'm joking. I'm just... I was going, I was going to go with it. But I was like, ah, <laughs> they, they, that was consensual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but also short. So shorty is there. What I want to point out, and no one wants to point out, if you are Caribbean and you get this point. Shensia's lick song was playing in the background. Wow, oh, Shensia. Okay. Did y'all uh, hear that song? Yeah, it's bad. Complete trash. It's the the video is even worse. Yeah, worse. Bro. And it's understand something, Shakira. I am in love. With you. She's amazing. No, she's talented as shit. She's amazing. So that song, that song blew my. And yeah. you, your freestyle game is different. But that song, bad. Fucking Meg the Stallion blew mine on that too. Like Listen, oh, that, that song, all in the legs. I, I was like, what? Are I we think doing? that that song is why that happened. Oh, it just wow. terrible started terrible. But no. But long story short, wow. Shorty was sucking dick. At the same thing. Can I start with my questions? Now that you've seen the video, I have yeah, so was, many questions. Wow. Mm -hmm. My question, my first question is, when she's done, what does she do? 
I mean, what, do, what when you're done eating your food, what do you do? <laughs> she wipes her mouth. It's no, the no, first thing. No, she no does. when I gets back to work. <laughs> no, what, what, what I'm saying is <laughs> yeah, this, just, this is an event. Right. This is a sip and paint. Right. Mm-hmm. Does she just continue to sit at that table and paint like nothing just happened? Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 bro. She just got. She's gonna be like, "Well, bro, what, what did she? Let me see what you painted." Better question. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I got questions. When I saw that video, my my mind was racing. I was like, Whoa. "Okay, all right, all right. All right. Mm-hmm. just calculating." Another question. Uh huh. You don't normally go to a sip and paint by yourself. Yeah, she with her girls. Them so your girls now. Do we act like that didn't happen? Do we talk about it amongst each other? Like, what what, what happens then? Yo, bro, it depends on the caliber of women, right? You have you have some girls who gonna fuck be like, that. That's a cop out. Us guys, let's flip it. It's no, us. Don't talk about that. No, no, no. It's us. We out. We eat. We, we we had a no. We had a brunch. Table? We had a brunch, and we just turn around and Lamar just giving Shorty wild top, just going crazy. <laughs> All right. And All right. he's All done right. now. We just like whoa, 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 whoa. yo, pass the pepper. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? Hey, hold on. hey, cut that part out. Okay, I don't. I don't give top. I don't like how that sound. All okay, right? cool. I guess. <laughs> But no, way, no man forgive top. <laughs> either way, either way, either way. Yes, if if you turn around and it's not like okay, boom, we're at a party, it's dark, and I'm making out with somebody, or no, not making out. Might be your you tongue is in the vagina. Shots in the corner, nobody can really see it. Shorty nah. got a skirt on, a dress, mm. whatever. We rolled it up. I mean, that's 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 definitely that's, that's way yeah, different. That's that's possible. That's 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 within the scope of what I know. <laughs> But these are parties. But but but, but that's now, the but that's the, the, but the event for that. Well, kind of, you know what I mean? Like you, you do that kind never, of stuff there. You'll never catch me ever. Right. This is not a a, a, a known sex party. No, right. no, there's no way you just turn it nope. left and I'm just eating. Box. Understood, but you you're missing my point. And then I'm gonna just turn around and act like nothing happened. It's not gonna happen. It doesn't. She probably sense. turned around and said, "What's your picture look like?" <laughs> but that's what I'm trying to say. Like, what happens next? What do you think happens next? We we only see this clip and then that's it. Girl, you want some? The event wasn't done. Oh shit! Like the event wasn't done. They had more painting to paint. Wow. Did she leave? Did she stay? Do they, my my question is, if they were painting his dick, do they not have to adjust the painting? Because they told? do. It's limp now, unless he on the gas station pill and then he's just <laughs> up for forty two right. days. He could, he could have that blue chew. He got that blue chew. I might have to cop me one of those. No, you 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 you're gonna have a headache. <laughs> your back gonna hurt. <laughs> it's it's yeah, not a. You know the blood come from your feet. So you can't walk right, nowhere. Shit swollen now. <laughs> now this is what happened? I don't know. I don't. I, just, I, don't, I don't know. I, I've never had a blue. Tube, I'm not right. Right, not so, so all in all, um, I, my my deeper question is is like yo, in in my mind, there are no truly single people. You feel me? Everybody's in some level talking to somebody. Okay. You feel me? In some I can, level, I, I can, I can see that. Him. I can agree. One percent entertaining somebody or has somebody. I can agree. Does she, how does Shorty go back to her situation? Well, you didn't see her face. Nobody saw her face. Yeah, that's that could what be, saved her. That could be anybody. Only her girls that were at that table right. would be able to know what the fuck happened. And you know, women keep shit to the grave Patreon. until they're no longer friends. Oh yeah, that's the first thing to come out. That's true. When women stop being friends, oh, you oh, gonna yeah. you gonna hear it. And I stay by your side when you embarrass when you were sucking dick. dick at the. You like whoa. And that nigga come on your face and everything, and then you wanna come kiss me on my cheek. And you're like, that's you, Sharon. God damn, Sharon was well. Sharon was well. Like, Sharon was well. You like, oh uh, damn, sorry, I I do too. <laughs> I'm yeah. Sorry, I think. Damn. <laughs> Oh, your Auntie Sharon was out there. Why? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, your Auntie Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> your Auntie Sharon. I, said, I know you. I know you. Were out there. <laughs> That's funny. No, but like, yeah, what bro, the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I don't. I don't know what to tell her. I think that um, we just don't know the situation. That is exciting, though. I'm not gonna hold you. We don't wait, know the okay, situation. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. So I, I do have an adverse opinion. Um, it comes from a very good uh, friend of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, they're they're gonna rename remain nameless just for for this time being. But what this individual said was, um, what if they just felt free and secure in their sensuality? And for all we know, this could have been a, a, a lifestyle swinger paint and sip and someone just huh. like sneakily recorded. And what, I, what, what I'm learning more and more while living down, we're not from here. 
But down here, this whole kink culture and this oh yeah, it's big. It's big down here. So what it if is, like, your boy, like what if it was? And when he said it, damn, I well, I just cut down half of it. Damn nosy. We're trying to see who it is so bad. Uh, once once this individual said it, a part of me was like, well, okay, I don't want to kink shame, but yeah. n- no, you are still right. wailing. I got a point. All right. So, oof. so I've seen I, I've seen um certain pornos where it's like a you ever seen Dancing Bear? Oh, that's my shit. That's my shit. <laughs> Yo, that's I, my. I, shit. I, I don't know. So Teach the strippers me. come out. The strippers come out half naked or whatever, and male strippers, women everywhere. There is like game show music, like right. Yeah. Slash techno. Yeah. And then niggas going from girl to girl dancing, dancing towards her. All the girls sitting down, meet straight in her mouth. And then she going crazy. Yeah, but and, it's if she wanted. If, if, if not, some girls be yeah. like, some girls be like, nah, I don't want it. That's why I thought it was real, but it's not. Um, and then they'll also, go to that's not the microphone. So oh, so ah. <laughs> <laughs> already. <laughs> My nigga. I, I told you. I think it's talking to the cup for real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so, so I was saying, oh, so there are actual events like So, like, yes, yes, there are actual there are events. I definitely. So this I, could have been real. one like that. Yes. Okay. So, so that's why there are actual yeah. events like that, like there's a beer. Shit I tried like to sign up for it. Like I'm the same. <laughs> <man. laughs> I, like, I was wait, like, wait, wait you, you could do this? You tried to be the model? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just tried to be walking around with your dick out. No, understand. It's a room of like 30 women. And you got a, you got a mask on. Well, some of them. Some of them. Some of the some dudes have on a bear a mask. mask. This one nigga had like a Zorro eye patch eye. Yeah. Joint. And you, literally, they dancing. They strippers, so they all one in the face. One guy, mad athletic, he doing backflips with his dick out. Yeah. And going from girl to girl, putting. So we. So I hate to be that guy, oh, but I'm on, going pops. to be that guy. <laughs> we, we're not worried about STDs or nothing. We're not. We're not worried about that at all. We it's just. My cool thing is, you song. just be no, drunk. I, and you'd be like, this would be a dope ass fantasy. No, I, I get I, it. <laughs> but now you said, okay, you, cool, getting your dick sucked. We know that, that's like top two when it's not two. We know that, right? Like, it's amazing. But then imagine just dancing around just like one after the other, after the other, after I, the other. I, you know I, what I'm saying? I, but it's, my, it's entertaining for them too. I know, but my brain goes so, okay, so how many? Oh, it'd be a lot. It'd be yeah, a they, whole lot. Yeah. It'd, no, be I, a, it'd be a room of 30. So women. we don't think of anything going yeah, I'm wrong? So jealous. We don't think of anything going wrong. It's just so, hey, as long as they vaccinated, baby, we good. <laughs> Shit. Apparently, there are no more diseases. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Touche. Like, Touche. What the fuck? What you? What you? Gonna, you gonna catch some AIDS? Shorty got, AIDS. Shorty got her boosters. Always. You know what I'm saying? What's up? No, 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 no. So I get. I Ain't no get, AIDS. I, I do get what you're saying. Ain't no what STDs out here. But what? No, what's a little STD? <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me ask you a question. When you know, not now, of course not. Shout out to Shorty. Mm-hmm. Um. When you were, you know, in the heyday. Last yeah. week, tell them. Is- <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Last week, nigga. <laughs> Go for it. I, I was be- right there. Miss, I don't want to be a part of this, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> not I. The I glasses don't- came off. <laughs> I, I'm not, I don't agree with this, all right? Um, When you was in your heyday, did you ever, when you was getting top. Last week when you called head, me. Mm-hmm. Did you ever say, yo, <laughs> nah, I can't let her suck my dick. She probably, she probably got something. To answer to answer that direct question, I'm going to say no, but that's not the point. I was have, <laughs> no. What I was saying was, have I ever been in a room with 40 women and my dick was out and I was getting head from all of them? No. But Would have I you be ever in that your room? Head, well, have you ever? No, nah, I mean this might be too personal. But there are people who've gotten head. Nothing's from 40 too women. personal. From have you ever? Have you ever? Did you get head from 40 women over your career? Not at the same time. No. That's okay, but it's still 40 miles. No, that's, yeah, different, that's different, bro. That's way different. It's months between. Bro, it's Sharon, Sasha, Susie. So you told me if a girl have 40 bodies separately, is different from her just getting a train? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. The what? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. god. She ain't never had sex before. <laughs> All she lost was her virginity. Bro. And one guy a couple times. Low key. 20 more guys. You probably got a burn every night when you pee. Mm-hmm. And you think about 30 people because what well, she didn't brush her teeth. She got coffee breath. She you feel me? Drink she had alcohol. She smoked she, cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? She ain't I mean, got well, her booster. She got 18 abortions. Yeah. There's something wrong over there. Yeah. This one too happy to do it. Like, like you trying to give me something. She's like, <laughs> you know, like, whoa. This is whoa, I follow Dr. Whoa. Sabre's teachers, okay? My body's right <laughs> oh, okay. You got you drink the alkaline water. Boy. You gotta alkaline no, your. Alkaline. Oh, my joke. Oh, heard it. That's all right. We gotta move on, bro. <laughs> no, so uh, we do only because we gotta lie. We gotta lie. No, we do gotta lie. But like I said, I I, I wanted to start there. Yeah. Now, ain't nothing wrong with sucking dick in public now. Don't you? Don't you? I don't want none of y'all women getting discouraged. What? All right. <laughs> no, like I said, 
I don't think there's anything wrong with Suck dick in public. With do, listen, do what you do, right? Hey. If 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 we're under the pretenses, once again, based on the comment that that was sent to me, right. if we're under the pretenses that this is supposed to be a safe space and we can do whatever we want to do, and then somebody recorded that illegally, then I feel bad for that person because you 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 have a false sense of security. Right. Yeah. If you go it, to a sex party and it's a dude running around with a camera, you feel me? It's like it's like oh, supposed, bro, you're not supposed to do that. It's like you go to a comedy show and right. there's supposed to be no phones, and now here comes right. the behind the scenes footage of the new Kevin Hart. It's like ah, oh, okay. Yeah. So I get that. All right. But I still want to know what her friend said to her after she was done. Like, what happened next? I don't know. You we on to the next. Listen, uh, if you know of any events in Atlanta, we're just trying to fully understand this culture. <laughs> it's, it's you tell them, Shoot a DM to the Willow Wednesday's Instagram page. Send us some flyers. Mm -hmm. Maybe some chats we could join. We just want to <laughs> know what really goes on. At the same time, February um, 12th, uh, we have a Sip and Dick event. Um, you can come. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> adult D DIY. You you know me? Yeah, it's an adult DIY workshop. Mm -hmm. Um, you would see our lovely faces while we entertain you guys, and you would learn how to make your own fully functional vibrator slash dildo slash whatever yep. you want to call it. Play some niggas, sis. Got good food, good music, <laughs> good. And looking if you feel brothers. like sucking Lamar's dick, you can't. You don't gotta cut that one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, yo, <laughs> no, next topic, bro. Next topic, bro. Let, <laughs> let, let, let's let's stay oh. let's stay where we at. Let, let's stay where we at. I'm excited. Nelly. Oh, we got that video. Do I want to see that? Do I want to see <laughs> Nelly's dick? I want to see we do all this dick talk. <laughs> nah, nah, nigga, no homo. I want to see it. Now. See it. You want to see it? I want to see it. Cool. So he was wrong with that. So carry the conversation well, as I, I pull this up. Got you. Bro, everybody watch porn. Yeah, exactly. What's the difference? You don't watch the porn for the dicks. So, you don't. You don't. I don't. Listen, man. I want to just see the camera on shorty face the whole time. <laughs> Yo, what's the joke? You ever been like, you know, beating me and right when you come and shoot to some ass Yo, for some bro. man shit? <laughs> Oh. You be right there, and it's like shot of the man's ass. You like, oh god! It don't feel the same. Like literally, literally. If, am I watching porn? Well, I used to. Um, yesterday, if I'm watching porn and it's like it cuts to a bad scene when I'm like, I will stop. Man, I'm like, oh, I will this, stop and run it back. This is, this is not what I. Oh, this is not what I. Want. I will completely stop so and run it back. You can, you can, you can. You just completely stop. I will stop. Run. <laughs> you said run it back. What you want? You want to get your No, it, just, it ain't happen. Oh. It's like right there. Ooh. I thought he about to say run it back. He about you to gonna go. undo? Oh. Put it, put it back. Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> he got a funnel. Look <laughs> at <laughs> Dave grab a funnel and put the nut back in his dick so he can do the. No, game. but yeah. So, so this video it has now right, surfaced. I can't hear him moan though. That's just weird. It's Nelly. Nah, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Yo, so everybody watching, we're gonna have the video somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah, we gonna make something. No, we, we can't. gotta censor it. We gonna censor yeah, it, of we course. Can't we that. can't play that. Nah, they, they gonna they gonna kick us off air and shit. Yeah. But this video has no. literally surfaced no. within the last few hours. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> right. Literally, it's it, the video has surfaced within the last few hours. Um, this was posted on his Instagram story, not a close friends, mm. but the Instagram story. Um, he, 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 he gave an apology. He said it wasn't his doing. Someone either has his Apple ID, iCloud, whatever information right. and posted it also spiteful shit. That's, that's what he, crazy. That's what he's saying. Um, but the video has surfaced him getting fellatio from, I mean, he, he says, uh, underlay, underlay mama. Ia, Ia, uh -oh. Oh, he nah. says that. He says that he also says we like can't hear that. Oh. he says give me two purrs. <laughs> no, he don't. He does. <laughs> Actually, the legend has it that dilemma was playing in the background. <laughs> but <laughs> that's the noise. I tell you what though, <laughs> I went on Twitter after I saw this video yeah. and I instantly sent an apology to Ashanti. Oh. Instantly. Because we, we understand. No, no, no. Because I, I, I feel like I feel like with social media. <laughs> She's gonna get shot for this. Some somebody's she, gonna, nah. She's not gonna get shot. It's no gonna be more of a sis. Mm -mm, we get it. Like, you know why you ain't want to get that boy no hug? Like, <laughs> like yeah. I felt so bad for her. I see why you didn't go back. So so yeah. like I said, the black Twitter goes. You know, black Twitter yeah, different. Black, Twitter black going Twitter's crazy. going crazy now. They talking about Nelly and the 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 lack of Nelly. 
Damn. They were yeah, they were saying that they thought that Nelly would be more he would be more impressive, pretty much. So, okay. No. That's also I mean, first of all, she actually was not doing a bad job. Nah, she was doing wonderful, actually. <laughs> Spl- <laughs> splendid. A little bit more saliva. A- a- okay. Like, oh, a- no. okay. This a- is a great okay. beginning. I think yeah. this is the beginning of the performance. I don't know, but yeah. Oh, and, and she was getting killed too. They were saying that she did a terrible job. Nah, they they were saying that like, it was like she was being killed. Nah. You know what? I just want to. I just want to. If anything, them eyelashes. They got it's, to go, bro. Nah, she was straight though. I like. Oh, her I hate them long ass eyelashes. Body. But either way, so like the Wait, whole. They were crochet knots. Not knots, but like crocheted. Um. Oh, you you know these things. Say, you know, yeah. Yeah, you know these yeah, things. I, I was just like, like yo, hair. Like the cro- <laughs> like, so show these were like I, I think. Women, if I'm saying this wrong, the comments are there for you. Jump there, correct me. Right. It's like crochet hair. It's like not dreads, but it's something similar where it's just a wrap, like a wrap long joint. Sometimes it's curly. Like a like, two strand twist kind of deal. No. But okay. I, 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 I'll show you. Either way, <laughs> it just looks good. It right. Looks good on some shorties. Like a ball of yarn. Like um, Megan Good had had that style oh, at she... one point. How far this? But <clears throat> but here, here's what I would say with that, right? Megan Good. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> Megan Good is delicious. She's been delicious for about twenty years. She was. All right, let's go. No, we're not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Stay focused. We got a lot to do. We got a lot right, to cover. Stay focused. We got a lot to cover. No, 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 no. I've been watching hella podcasts. They always go two hours. You trying to violate Megan Good? I'm not trying to violate Megan Good. I'm I'm saying that don't take the bait. <laughs> don't take the bait. Don't, <laughs> don't no, no, no. Help take me the bait. What are you saying about Megan Good? Please. Do you want to go there? Nigga, I'm there. Cool, we're there. Um, Megan Good. Uh, one to me, she bleached her skin. And Charlemagne. I, 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 I'm not interested in Charlemagne. So I, I don't give. I don't give. I don't give a fuck. No, but like I said, to me, um, to me, she she she, she, she bleached her skin and. With, bleach. With, yes, with with her doing that and dealing with the the pastor that she dealt with, I felt like she took a a, a couple steps back, um, mentality wise and physical traits to me. This one thing. This is this is me. Um, I he can attest to this. I'm probably one of the biggest Megan Good fans. Like I claimed her as my wife. Yeah, Megan Good was mine for a long. You we can't fought. Claim my wife, bro. No, no, no. You, you saw what just <laughs> happened. This was wife. a fight. We've been doing, doing this for years, wife. but it came to a point in time that I looked at her and I was like, "I'm good on you, shorty." Like it's no hard feelings. Maybe I just outgrew her. That's what it is. I outgrew her. You can you, you can outgrow people. Yeah, you you can keep my old. What work. you say? You got to be okay to walk away. You know what I'm saying? You got to know you. when to hold them. <laughs> know right when now. to fold them. You know what it is? Yeah. Okay, so. I, I'm 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 unapologetically black, and that's not to say that you guys aren't. But I really love dark skinned women, right? Oh, no, nah, we all not what now? No, dark skinned women. Is, is, so uh, yeah, so the, the, the Megan Good that I grew up on was a was a much more browner skinned woman. I don't know what happened. You can't tell me it's the same skin complexion. I'm kind of attracted to the darker hue. Right. So with when I saw that, I thought that she because she she was really bright at one point. She came out. It was like like I I thought that she did something so yeah. she can appeal to a new demographic because of who she was dealing with, and right. that turned me off. If we really want to get into it, because remember she started dressing differently. She started going to church. It's, it's, and, 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 became, and, there's and there's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that. But, but nothing I mean, wrong with that. Another, but she also, changed. Also, yeah, I just realized why we why he shouldn't take the bait. Uh, let's just say this real quick. Three more minutes, right? Also, I think no one I to think me. that people have a, per, a, a a persona. Yeah. And then you know what I'm saying, when that persona is changed, mm-hmm. they decide to show you who they really are or whatever. The fact that she married a pastor, bro, and a pastor of his magnitude, a guy that's he does he closes his eyes and prays on Instagram. Okay? Yeah, he's a- she that's the real her in my personal opinion. You like, think the real her was 20 shades lighter? No, no, I'm not talking about complexion. I'm we talking got about six more topics. No, but we could talk, bro. We, we could have All a conversation. Right. But she was broken. Don't censor us. <laughs> she, she was yeah, broken. Freedom of but she said she was broken. Two hours she said she was broken. You know what I'm saying? She was in one of them interviews. And she, she was broke? Again. Oh, broke in. Okay. Broke in. Okay. She was broke. Yeah, so she, she, she was just mad promiscuous. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, we could probably almost for real get Megan good. Like, the way she was moving. And that's what she was saying. She was just like, not that, you know she wasn't slutting herself out or nothing, but she was just like I was, you know. She was going through a whole phase. Yeah, but you know how it is. Everyone's you, entitled to their. Whole and you phase. know how you are. You in the industry. You in these parties. You in this stuff. She's yeah. just around all this stuff, and you've been in, around this stuff for years. So it's like. So she was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna change my skin complexion." Yeah, no, 
I'm, that was good. <laughs> that was good. Because I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> Fuck no, God. nigga. That's I'm gonna change what I'm, everything but about she myself. She just said, you know, I, I need to, I need to chill. I need to relax. She did when she did. Uh, when she did finally, they had the divorce or whatever. What did she? Uh, she said, "Don't at me if you're not nasty." Or is Miss? It's Miss Good. No, it was the opposite. It was like, if you nasty, I'm Miss Good. It was something like that. Like it was, yeah, it, was yeah. it was a play on it. I Miss Good if you nasty. Or some shit like that. Something like that. Like, yeah. Hey, Miss Good. I mean, I ain't gonna hold you. If she ever, if she ever threw it my way, I would have to talk to the wifey. Like, yo, listen. Hey, this is bucket list. <laughs> I feel like we should all have a bucket list. But then, do, do you, does your women get to have a bucket list? Yes. Just to be fair, and you have made me come around to that. So where you 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 would be okay if your your wife? Because we're talking bucket list. If, if, if it's bucket list, your, your girl if, if got somebody. If, if, it, if it's mean? bucket list, I can't fault you. Yeah. Is it one smash? Yes, just one. Because <laughs> anything more than one now, now you playing you yeah. playing with your life. Yeah. You're wilding. Now you falling in love. Is it how many rounds? Honestly, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Get it all out just, one just, time. Just let me know it happened and come on home. Time. You know what I mean? I'll give you the bucket list because you can't fight bucket list. You want details? No. No. Hell, hell no. no. I don't <laughs> know. Oh, my God, Jay. I don't want details. That guy, six hours. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> no, but honestly, but, but that's like, how, so much bigger than you. Like, I mean, like, woo! My <laughs> <I> throat hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be so for a week. I'm going to need a fucking... <laughs> I mean, all type of throat uh, coats and lozenges. Oh, that, I'm about to, I'm about to buy Hall stock the way I'm about to be investing into these motherfuckers. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't I know. think she rearranged the pussy. I don't know. I don't want to know. I think shit. this is a different pussy. I honestly don't want to know. <laughs> shit. I need to take three weeks off. I think this is a different pussy. This to is be, not my pussy. To be honest with you, I think, I think, <laughs> now that you guys say that, if a bucket list event were to happen in a relationship, it should be a two week sabbatical for each person. We shouldn't see each other for a while. Yeah, but at the same time, a bucket list could be somebody and it end up being a Nelly. You know what I'm saying? And she like, oh, do you like see it? Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> but, but that, but secretly, <laughs> as men and women, we both we, we all be like, yes. Yeah, what? Ew. Imagine like, that's smash, a win. Smashing somebody. If, if, like, if your bucket list turned out trash, your girl would be elated. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> But if you, you were a smart you, man, you, you would say that anyway. She weak ass. <laughs> like, like yeah, yeah. she would be elated. I'm trying yeah. so hard to chill. Yeah. I'm just saying. We, we could go on for days. We can. I'm really just trying to. Yes. Stop it. We got to do so it, bro. Cool. Huh? Get you a bucket list. Get your girl to, to, you know what I'm saying? Or y'all can do bucket list together. Y'all want to talk about Joe Biden and the crack pipes? I or you, you want to leave not, that? You want to talk I'm about? Not, I'm not privy to that information just as yet. Would you like to inform me? Um, I, what's the details? It, on it's it? actually quick, but I know you, you managed to make not everything quick. Guys, pause. I feel like that's a pause in there somewhere. All right, all right. No, so it's really easy. Mighty boys. So Joe Biden um, has an idea to distribute uh, smoking paraphernalia, which included crack pipes. It was like wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you mean included crack pipes? Like bongs, fucking one hitters. You know what I'm saying? And literally glass pipes. Like literally glass pipes. But why do why do we okay, say so crack I'm, pipes so, if people smoke but, weed out of bongs like little? So I, I'm, I'll say well, this. Well, crack pipe is different. What 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 this administration is trying to do is get in front of the the drug right epidemic. What whatever, whatever it is, pandemic. The drug pandemic. No, like pandemic. The panoramic. <laughs> okay. The parallelogram. The drug parallelogram. Right. He's trying to get in front of it by saying. We're going to designate these areas where you can do your drugs. Right. And we're going to give you the materials that you need. But they're going to be clean so you're not sharing and, and spreading diseases. Mm -hmm. um, you can, there's going to be medical professionals around so you don't overdose. Mm -hmm. you, uh, we can revive you if you do OD. So responsibly high. And, exactly. And they it's said bad, they're going to distributed quote unquote to all of the races and all of the communities. No, that's cap. So we bro. that's cap. So that. in their head, they're using it as a racial equality drug paraphernalia togetherness. So they're providing the drugs? No. No. So we can we come there with whatever drug we want. Pretty much. And you can do your drug of choice. What, what drug is so no drugs are off limits? No drugs. No drugs. You can shoot heroin. So what you if they they're giving you crack syringe. pipe. Nigga, they're giving you crack pipes and syringes. I, feel, I, I literally, I personally, I feel like everyone's gonna get arrested before they step in. No, you no, just no. gotta do a search. No. What you got on you? 
Nah. I, nah. So I personally, from the day, it's just first stupid. Off, it's a stupid idea, period. We get it. So I technically, I don't think it's a stupid idea. I just think that it just needs to be Work? done. Here's why I don't think it's a stupid idea, right? Why? Um, Personally, when I have children, I, I don't really smoke weed like that. I smoke weed twice a year. When I have children, I would want my kid to do those dangerous things. You know what I'm saying? I would want to like guide them on that. You know what I'm saying? Only because if there's no guidance, the people that they're around or them in general or whatever is just going to be a reckless situation. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But now if I can guide you, like, yo, look, I don't really necessarily want you to do this or go through this, but I know that you're going to find a way to do this because you want to do it. You might be doing it a little bit. I'd rather So do it with me. Do it with a little bit of my supervision so I could guide you so you don't fuck up. And then if you're like me, you'll make the decision to be like, look, this is not me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or this is not. And I feel like parents never think about the fact that. That's true. Their kids can make the decision to not want. I, do I smoke weed with my mom when I caught her. Um, you caught her smoking weed? Yeah, my mom apparently had been smoking weed my whole life. I didn't know. Like, How just, old were you? I was old enough to smoke it with her. Like, and she legit was like, yo, fuck it, you caught me now. <laughs> shit. It's a grab receipt. Shit, you got your own roll up? <laughs> yeah, nah, she didn't know. It was the funniest shit. Got blood. Yeah. Got weed. Yeah. What, if, what, if your, what if your mom was like, you got five? <laughs> nah, but it was mad ghetto. You know, you have if your mom charged charge me, <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> hey, 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 bro, you can bro. smoke with me, but you gotta put in on you it. Put nah, in it on was, it was mad ghetto. You know, how you have a downstairs bathroom and you just walk in, and she was sitting on the toilet. Wait, wait, sir, no, I don't. No. You don't have a down. Da- oh, is that a? Oh, I got like a little, like a like a little. I got a, no, I, I got I, an indoor pool. I got an outdoor pool. Cool. I, I, I didn't grow up that way. I grew I up in a building, bathrooms, right? Bro. So I grew up in a building. So you know how your come up is right now? How you got the, the small bathroom? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the one on the, the, the bottom floor bathroom. So she okay. was just in there, and I guess she just hadn't locked the door. I didn't know. So, so you just walked in. I was, there. Just, I was going to pee. <laughs> like, I walk in, my mom in there like, I'm like, oh, mama, <laughs> <laughs> you smoke? <laughs> like, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, nigga, <laughs> <laughs> fucking look like. And this shit, this shit was funny because her real answer was, well, fuck it, you'd have caught me now, so shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn. I'm so high. so do you think that it's it's them doing it like this is a good thing where so, they're trying to like... Joe Biden giving people crack pipes? No. My mama smoking a bone with me? Yeah. I so, think that okay, was cool. So you think that it's the drugs... <laughs> it's a difference. You think that it's the drugs... Like certain drugs should just be off limits that they... I think the perpetuation, is that the word? The perpetuation of hard drugs and making it okay. I think that that's not good. I, I don't. I don't want to tell people. Everybody smoke crack over here. Like I just don't. I just don't. I, for some I, reason, I'm, I'm. I'm sorry. It's funny because I'm literally in the middle. Okay, but I'm in the middle. Oh, <laughs> that's really? why I said it's funny because really? I'm in the middle. Me but, in my way, roll calls like this. You feel me? I'm in the middle, right? Because on one side of my brain, I'm like, what the fuck are we giving people drugs and telling them that it's safe to do these dangerous ass drugs, but right. over here, right. where you're good. Right. But my other side of the brain is like, if you're going to do it anyway, right? and if, if because in the article that you had posted, they, they were talking about the, the, the rate of overdosing right. and the rate of deaths because of it, these drugs. Stop it. If no. we can provide a place where we can stop these deaths, if we can say, all right, we're, we're going to lose 30% of these drug users, we're, that, that's what we're doing normally. But right. if we build this safe haven, this drug safe haven, right. the, that 30% is dropped down to 15%. I get that. We're saving life. Even though it, it, they they still using drugs, that's a tough one. we're still saving lives. So, I like it. I said, I, I, I'm, I'm on the fence. I get it. How? So then, okay, boom. If you don't like... So what about it do you not like is what I want to understand. The enabling of drug use. Yeah. Is it I don't enabling? like I don't like the enabling of drug use and then they're gonna concentrate on the low income areas. You know what that means. Okay, all right. So you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So it's, is the, the all right, well let's I it's agree. basically the cornering it's oh, the cornering. They, they putting these places in, in the projects? Oh bruh. Well technically they said that they're well, gonna no, do they, it they, they everywhere, said they're gonna equally everywhere to keep it equal, but we but know, we know what that we, means. We know what you know. what I'm saying. But, okay, so, so I, I'm, I'm so, leaning to Dame side now. No, 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 no. I, I get. So I, I get that. The, the racial. I feel like there's always going to be some type of agenda for all the time minorities. You feel me? You know that. But I, I want to just move past that though. I want to yeah. be like, okay, but we're all the same color. 
right? This is some YMCA for drugs. Like, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> boys and girls club hey, for drugs. Welcome. Here's Jesus our swimming pool. Here's our gym. Here's our game room. Here's where we smoke drugs. Everything. <laughs> no, no, no. So, so, all right. We're take the you know the racial. Let's just put that to the side. Do you think it's a bad idea for them to create a, a somewhat safe place for people to do their drugs? Because technically, I think it's going to do it anyway. Yes, it's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. It so, never works. So how I see that is just like <laughs> condoms. You feel it me? never works. They're not going to stop what? you from having sex, but they're going to encourage safe sex. I, 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 I pick up what you're putting down. You feel me? Like, I like pick, yo, I'm picking up what he's putting down. No one down. can stop. No one understand if, if, if I like it, that if analogy. It condoms, there's gonna be more. There's there'll be more disease and more children. You feel me? We don't matter whether there's abortions or not abortions or whatever. If there's no type of contraceptive, you know what I mean, um, people would just be. We're not gonna have less sex. I don't want this to get you. Deep. Think I'm gonna have less sex because I got condoms? I don't got condoms. I, I, I'm, I'm picking up what he's putting down now. I think I'm leaning more to his side now. I like your side right now. Wishy washy as fuck. No, like I said, I was. That's how you know it's working. No, but I was. You know, once you start agreeing with everybody, <laughs> how did I start this whole thing? I started literally in the middle. Yeah, yeah you're in the middle. You're I'm literally in the middle. All, right. All I'm saying is, I, literally, this is yeah. going to happen no matter what. Yes. So why not get out in front but, of it? Wait, hold on. I, 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 I didn't have my mic on. It just blew me. <laughs> I made myself mad. Oh, your mic was off the whole time? <laughs> that one little time. When I, was, I didn't, yeah. God damn it. Yeah, man. so it's, I, I was like, oh, man, I had a good All point. All you got to know is whatever he said, Jay don't agree with him. <laughs> no, yeah, like, you swayed. I'm all for the getting in front of it. I always go back to this. What the hell's um, I, I'll let you, you get your let point me, together. Me. I'm going to talk. I always go back to this. Um, France has one of the lowest uh, rates of alcoholism in the world, um, but they also have one of the earliest oh, entry points of alcoholism. You could be a 13 year old and drink wine. Right. You can have alcohol at a very young age, but what happens is you introduce it so young, it's a norm. When you're at dinner, you drink right. wine with your parents at dinner. Right. Like, so it can be, it's a normal thing. So when you become of age, when we came of age, oh, I'm 21, I'm about to get fucked up. Because right. they hated, they, they, they said we couldn't do it so much. Right. And now we want to do it so much. Mm -hmm. the, over there, they're like, yo, this is this is the pros, there's the cons, this is what's going on. If you drink right. too much, you're going to wake up with a fucking headache, but you got to go to school in the morning. Guidance. You know what I'm saying? So they, they learn to, they, to, to, to manage it and they don't abuse it. And then that's why their rates are lower. So I feel like if we got out in front of it, we can say, you want to do your crack? Do All a little right. bit, but because when you wake up tomorrow, you can't go to work. We're gonna have functioning crackheads now. It's no, not. Do you do you, do you remember the number? 80s. Do you remember the number of money? It was like a hundred something million or something. I don't. It was, it was, no, it's, it's up there. It's, it's up, up there. there, right? It's up so, there. So 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 here's 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 why it bothers me. And that's what I said. I ain't want to turn. This is one of those. Remember Josh? I, this is one of those I'd be talking to Josh about. Mm -hmm. Instead of spending a hundred million dollars on giving people drugs. Or drug paraphernalia. Why won't you spend a hundred million dollars on the types of programs and and employment and opportunities that people don't have to do fucking drugs? If we would just put the hundred million dollars into schools, if we would put the hundred million dollars into situations, you don't gotta do the drugs. And they never seem to do that, but they always seem to pacify the after. They're always reactive. They're never proactive. I'm picking up what you put in. And and and, and, it, and it, it's always that. They'll fuck around and cut the fucking. They'll cut the music program, right? But I, then give you a drug home. I'm on your side, cuz I, nah, fuck that. Nah, it's like I feel like we're playing tug of war. <laughs> right. Right. So, this, that was, I want Jason. <laughs> right. No, because so, I get that. So, because that's what they do wrong. You so, know what I'm saying? I, I get. I, they give us their programs. So I get what you're saying, right? <laughs> it's like my nigga, but, but just give me books. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Like, the fuck? I personally don't think that. More, oh, damn, I, I damn, fuck you up. I personally don't think that a better, better programs, better schooling, better, you know, doing more of this is gonna make it less um, drugs. You feel me? Here's why white people are dying at a crazy rate when it comes to these opioids. You feel me? In, in white communities and white schools, they have better everything that you're saying. Everything that you're saying, I've, I've been to one. A year. But it's not the it's not the rich whites. It's not the it's not the it is, no bro. It's and I'm saying what I'm saying on purpose. It's you, the it's the it's the 
It is the broke white people, bro. That's well, doing I, opioids. I, 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 I will say, I will say this. I'm serious. No, no, that's it, why they compared no, no, it to the no, crack. No, 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 no. no. It, it, it's what? A, that's a yes and a no thing. The okay. rich whites, they're not doing methadone. Right. The 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 the, the poor whites that be in the projects that be leaning over, they yeah. got their coffee in their yeah. hand, they almost drop, but they never fall. Yeah. Those are the broke whites. But the rich whites, they're doing pills. They're doing pills. They're, do, they're doing sure. uppers. They're, they're doing, doing they're, yeah, they're, they're doing, doing, they're, doing yeah, but they but, coke, but that's not coke, killing them. Coke is rich, crack yeah, is broke. Is but but regardless, no, no, but that's a, but the reason but that's important because they're not saying the government is not saying, hey, everyone, we're gonna give everyone coke. Everyone be like, yes. <laughs> you know what I'm mm. That's not what's happening. They're saying, do your meth, do your crack. You're talking to a specific. But do it here. But you, but, you know but what I'm saying? It's like Indian reservations, bro. So I, 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 get, <laughs> I, get, what you're, I get what you're saying. It's I get what you're deep. saying. You know, it's like it's I, going to happen. Reg- like okay, I didn't even think about back that to one. back to the point. No matter whatever class you're gonna do drugs, it's just all right, back to sex. How, no matter how rich or how broke you are, you still gonna fuck. Yes, you still but, gonna, you still gonna be able to find. Hear me out. You still gonna be able to have yeah. sex, no matter how rich or how broke you are, right? Yeah. But you still need condoms. Rich people are still are still wearing condoms. Broke people are still wearing condoms, right? To protect themselves from whatever. So whatever class you want to bring a, a drug, but you still need the protection, bro. So if you take away of saying, yo, boom, there's no this type of protection that they're trying to administer, then it just goes like to the Wild West. And who I personally think has that, has more guidance or has more um resources. Resources. Are the upper class, bro? Sure. The lower class has no resources, so, no, so, has no nothing. So let me and ask you: just mm. learning by dying. So do the upper class people have a whole lot of babies everywhere? Uh, that's a bad. Ass. That's a bad question, especially after, no, no, bro. Especially after everybody uh, fucking, especially after right? the cannon. Everybody fucking. That's one dude. The rest of the world, so you everybody's that. fucking, right? Like you saying, everybody's fucking equally. He, he, he got Rich you people there. don't be having 15, 10, 15 he, kids. Literally, that's having 10, 15 kids. The right? broke people that's fucking all the time. So, so that's, that's literally what welfare is about, <laughs> to be honest with you. Nah, it like, 10, 15, that's crazy. Bro, but you, what? But, but, the no, no, Jewish no, no. people in this community, oh, I'm about to get in trouble. Fuck Jewish it. Got money, yes, the, yeah, but guess what? The Jewish the Jewish people in this in this country. That's a choice. They want to do the, that. Uh, uh, They're not broke. The, the black people in this country. The Hispanic people in this country have babies at an alarming rate. But there's a lot of there's white people with a lot of kids. Like there's like those are the ones that are opioids. <laughs> no, no, you can't do that. That's you what I'm saying. You can't do that. I literally, I literally have, I, Jesus, I've, no. I've been you know around white people, or whatever. Uh, I served and bartend and have spoke to multiple people who's like, yeah, we have. Yo, we I, definitely got to talk about this Joe Rogan shit next. My bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, yeah. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking like, I'm, I'm saying shit like he said. He was like, oh, that's racist. Now I say that. They're going to pull this shit up 10 years later. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. But let's, not, let's stay here. Let's stay here. It's, it's, long story short, yo, whoever you say who is having a lot of kids, bro. It's, it's, it's I was just pointing that out because you, you get you get my point. It's completely, you said everybody on, fucking. It depends, so. on, it depends on whatever, you, what, what whatever you decide to do. But But you have to understand, broke people are also way more reckless. So Ex- the condoms are exactly. there. Exactly. Yes, the condoms are there. That doesn't mean that they always use. But that, okay, so that kind that's of, my point. That, that kind of speaks to what Dame is saying. That's so, point. so be, because like, what, based off your words, the broke people are reckless, right? A little bit so more. If the broke people are a little bit more reckless, we're now giving you a safe haven to do your reckless activities, <laughs> and we're giving you the tools needed. It's about to fucking. I, I see what you're saying. It's, with the math, the, there's math and logic. Put, if you're if you're already a bad decision maker, okay, and I'm giving you the tools to make more bad decisions. Let, let's keep your wait. I got it. Yes, but let me keep your no, point. I'm, I'm not. Let me keep your point. All right. I, let's say this is why I was picking sides. Let me just shut up. No, no, I got you. No, no I got you. I got you. Um, I'm killing. You talking about sex and condoms? Condoms. You got the right. What if you take all the people that's fucking crazy? Everybody that got 10, 15 kids, throw them a pack of condoms and say, "Go in that room." Fuck you think they gonna do? They're going to fuck the shit out of each other. Everybody, it's over, nigga. Like, all these people that's fucking, 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 fucking. And you put up, we just talked about a whole room. You want your dick sucked by 30 women. You lost me. You lost you? Okay. I'll say it again. Just just people, just people, throw people. No. That that doesn't mean that they're going to have sex just because they all. But no, but we, we, no, but but this was saying, this is why you have, you can, that's why you comparing it to sex is wrong because now i got to play sex like crack addicts it's weird you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah, so yeah. It's so when, when saying, you take it to sex it's so like all right you're gonna throw but bro if you throw, so so let me so, throw, so okay so oh, let me do this okay. let me rip my fault my fault so sex addicts 
right? Because we're talking about drug addicts. Mm-hmm. So addiction. Now, sex addicts, addicted yeah. to sex. People who like having sex. Now put them all in a whole room with each other and throw them condoms and say, well, at least y'all fucking in here. They're going to have safe sex. You think so? My nigga. Shut if, the fuck up. Wait, 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 Shut wait, up. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shut up. So you put them all in a room. All the people that's addicted wait. to fucking? Remember, remember, remember. <laughs> the the We're talking about people and we're talking about people. We're talking about people. What they're addicted to doing and the measures of safety that the uh, uh, that we are administrating, right? Mm-hmm. People, sex or drugs, mm-hmm. um, the 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 drug concentration concentration camp. Like I don't know how to do this. <laughs> this is, oh, this is, this is <laughs> the drug camp. This is okay. bad. <laughs> The drug building. No, it is a concentration camp. <laughs> concentration camp. Is this a, that's a wild right. shit. I, I don't, Yo, I don't, Joe I don't, Biden, you're wild. I don't want to go that far. Yo, can you pay off the student fucking debt? You see what I'm saying? So do look, that shit. So look, the look. shit that we could do is so really drug, work, drug, some, work drug something. Camp, which is technically <laughs> what, um, technically there to help them be more safe in whatever they're doing because you can't stop them from doing what they're going to do. They're going to do what they want to so do. We've tried to, not we, I mean, but they've tried <laughs> to stop them. You feel me? Are condoms. So now, what you're saying is, people having sex in a room. If you put them in a room with that, if you put them in that environment, or if they go ahead and have sex without the safety precautions, they're going to go ahead and spread more diseases. They're going to go ahead and have more kids because they're going to do that regardless. Bro. But now, if you give them condoms, how and many? You tell them you only can have sex with condoms. My nigga, how many times have you had a condom in your pocket and not used it? When in the past Shut the f- bro, bro, stop <laughs> it, stop it. In the past bro, year, bro, stop it. In the past year, it, it doesn't past matter, bro. And you, and you in bro, here, stop it. And you in here in with the this. past year, stop it. You go, you, you gonna die on that sword. Don't Listen, do that. Whoever's bro. watching this, know my body, know my vibe. Understood. I always put bro, that Jimmy on, bro, Except bro. You. you know who you bro, are, bro. What I'm saying is, come on now. How many times, as and, as, as men. And we, we've had it and, in our and you're pocket. you're in the room. And we're in the room. Like, well, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, you're in the room with a whole lot of women that's addicted to fucking you. And all they want to do is just fuck. You telling me, you, bro, you would not. That's a terrible room to be in, bro. I don't want to be in that room. I don't want to be in that room. I don't want to be in that room. I don't care how many. It could be a You put me in a room. You said you put me in a room full of women who want to fuck me? The room could be made of condoms. Like, it could be. All right, well, Everything is a condom. I'm, 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 this is another. What topic. I'm trying to say is that's bad. That's a, just this, a bad. This is another time. topic because I'm. I'm. To be honest, I, I, I get the point. I low key hate that you even brought in sex yeah, because sex it, 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 yeah, it, it does change it right. And and you need to stop doing that. You're always bringing the sex into something. Shit, we was talking about drug addicts always over here. Be, there's no. We always gonna talk Can we about get back to just that, please? Joe Biden has a fucking plan to make drug addicts use be drugs. Sexy. Shut up. <laughs> drug addict sexy. <laughs> Imagine you not <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Instead of got milk, it's got, got drugs. <laughs> the whole fucking campaign. Shit, not, got teeth. When, when you, <laughs> shit, got teeth. Shit. My tummy hurts. Yo. No, but I, 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 I was looking at the time. I don't. I don't have a phone. Go ahead. Oh, you, you hate it, don't it? You <laughs> fucking hate it. The game don't know what he, 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 Like, is it morning time? It's all good. And we in the nah, but okay. So are we, are we done? Talking we gotta about, finish, bro. We gotta are, finish. Are we done talking about Joe Biden and this crazy? We gotta shit? finish, man. We we done. Do we like it? it? Do we Stop not like it? On. We gotta change. It. We don't like it. Oh well. Okay, one, two, three. You know that's how we end it. Cool. Yeah, one or two. One or two. Do you like it or do you don't? like it? One. Don't like it too. Like it. Can we just one, say we like it or don't, don't like it too? Like it, like it. One, one. Don't like it. Two, two. Like it, like it. One, one. Don't like it. Two. Don't like it. Two. Don't like it. Okay, like it. One. Don't like it. Two. Like it. Pick it. One. Fucking number. Don't like it. Hey. Like it. Uh. One. Don't like it. Like it. One. You look at you. God don't like ugly. You about to break your shit. Nah, but uh, so so you you like it or you don't like it. And just after really. after you great debaters went at it, I'm going to say I don't like it. All right, All right. I don't like it. You clearly I'm gonna don't. say, hey Joey, bring on the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to try all the. All right, man. Okay. So let's talk about nigga, nigga, nigga. No, but you didn't answer it. Are we? I'm the one that. Do, cool. You don't like I, it. I don't like it. Gotcha. Um. Just because you used to do drugs back in the day, now you don't want to. It's hey, funny because his back in the day. Is the sixties? No, no, no. His his, his back in the Peaky day. Is, back in no, the his day. back in the day is like in textbooks. That's crazy. We learned about his nah, back in the his day. His back in the wow. day is so far back that they didn't put that in the book. 
there was no pages. No His pages. back in the day was in black and white. His back in the day was just was just stories told from generation. <laughs> <laughs> It was fables. <laughs> the, <laughs> the legend of it was when people just there one was they was head. looking up and making up shit. This back in the day was some uh, pictures on the fucking cave walls. Fucking hieroglyphics. Wow, that's, wow. that's funny. These niggas sent smoke signals. <laughs> <laughs> the day is coming. The day is coming. Let's now, get it, man. Joe Rogan, and I, I'm so I don't want to use the word excited. But oh. I no, I really want to talk about this because I, re- I don't have my I, phone. I just reached for my phone again. Yeah, Where yeah. my niggas at? Y'all yeah. ready? <laughs> no, like I, I'm not. I'm not excited to talk about what the fuck this 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 is what is going on. But right. I'm interested because we're we're intelligent guys. Thank um, you very much. I think so as well. Yeah, I, I feel like we're intelligent yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, and and our audience, whatever camera I'm on right now, our target audience, they're they're, they're intelligent individuals as well. Right. And I want everybody to really grasp what they what 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 they can get from it, it was and two try parts. to understand Imagine you get the, did you got it, the two parts i got just, both parts you got both parts. okay All right. right um so for those who don't know joe rogan um is probably one of the biggest he is podcasters on earth he is Period. like like <laughs> you're not bigger than joe rogan joe rogan is the podcaster broadcaster news anchor whatever yeah. you want to fucking call him he's uh, that this time he's the like, number like, one yes yeah um he also is not with the status quo right he's well, not com- it, he's a comedian originally yes yeah, absolutely he's funny too uh, yeah 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 um a little racy at times uh um, yeah. pushes the envelope but i feel all comedians are um yeah. he has a show um on this show he's had uh, hundreds of thousands of not thousands but hundreds of guests mm-hmm. um across all spectrum so he'll have your fame your favorite black actors he'll have the the anti-government people he'll have everybody on right. the spectrum um he got into trouble at first um for the the anti-vax like the anti-vax people mm-hmm. just just spreading quote-unquote false information mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so with the false information that he was spreading um He's on Spotify. Mm-hmm. A lot of artists were like, "Yo, I'm, I'm, we're not fucking with that." He's allowed to put out this information. Right. Um, Spotify is known for historically robbing artists. Anyway, we get like point zero 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 three of a penny on a stream of music. Right. Um, Joe Rogan makes three hundred million dollars on his contract. So an artist's whole catalog would be on Spotify. They'll make a hundred thousand. Joe Rogan is getting 300 mil. So artists literally were like, yo, I, 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 we're not fucking with y'all no more. So more and more artists have jumped on this bandwagon. Um, that put him in hot fire initially. So what he said was, I'm going to have more people on the other side that can explain vaccines right. and that can give positive information and shed positive light on what's going on so we can have a good conversation about that. India Ire then came out and said, well, y'all can talk about vaccinations all you want. I don't fuck with him because he says nigger. No, he says nigger. Oh, yeah, sorry, with the ER, hard ER. And then she proceeded to play a video. Um, <laughs> Where my it. niggas at? I got it, I got you it. Play it. I'm, I'm going to play it. it. Yeah, we're going to drop this. I got to remember that, I got to remember that. Okay. Nigger. Wait, hold on. No, the nigger thing. Yeah, saying the word nigger. Uh, you've already said nigger. Uh, D is just like nigger. Saying nigger. She's calling you a nigger. It's like this boy that he's a nigger. But starts calling them niggers. Word nigger. There should be a word like nigger, especially like the word nigger. That's our nigger. About niggers. He says nigger. Guy a nigger. And there are niggers. Start saying nigger. Allowed to use the word nigger. Out the word nigger. See nigger. Word nigger. Say nigger, and he couldn't say nigger. And most nigger. <laughs> Yo, the cuts is crazy. My nigga. <laughs> Yo. Yo, I was trying so hard not to laugh. This is, <laughs> oh, my this is not God. Funny. This is a white man saying the N-word so comfortably nonstop. Put that compilation <laughs> in. Fucking hilarious, you know? My nigga. These niggers. There's a bunch of niggers. <laughs> no, but, Boy. but 
But once again, what month is it? It's February. This is Black Christ. History Month. That's like the funniest shit. Of, like it's hilarious though. No, wow, but, that's so, like, you say, who does this? That's so I niggas, yo. But okay, so <laughs> India, I honestly, I, I I didn't know this until I saw oh the India God, I read that's clip. Funny. Right? I, I I never knew that this existed. But at the same time, Joe Rogan, I'm not in his target demographic. I, I'm. I'm not right. the person who watches a Joe Rogan show. I just want to say I I've, I've been I've been a fan of Joe Rogan. I'm a fan of comedy. You know, I watch mad comedy specials. Um, I'm gonna get back to doing stand up. Um, hell, all, all our friends is goddamn stand up comedy mm-hmm. comedians. Um, I've been following Joe Rogan for years since mm-hmm. the early 2000s. I just when he had hair, like I just was a fan. Mm-hmm. He always used that word. Like he wasn't like a like not all the time. Like he wasn't like like that. That that's hilarious. Mm-hmm. But he would use it. But he would kind of Dave Chappelle it. Where it's in context, but Dave Chappelle is black. Well, but it's a it's a, okay. Uh oh, we got another topic about the bro. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to keep it. Here. Wait, 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 so wait, before I breach it, yeah, before I move, wait, wait, so, yeah, so, 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 so yeah, yeah. before we get there, because I, okay. I I literally wrote down a question that is literally speaking to what you're speaking to, and I, okay. I would like to see where we're at. That nigga just spray wild banaka. <laughs> <laughs> you smelled your own breath. It was like fuck this. This I'm, is I'm humming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is something I do. I like to, you know what I'm saying? You never stay fresh. Me, oh, yeah. You'll never catch me with bad breath. I'm Understood. Okay breath, and you'll never catch me with ashy lips. Cool. I'm like these motherfuckers. Never. You, you see what's sleep? Come nah, on now. Nah, this nigga. This nigga kills. Watch Carmax. your mouth. Where's yours? I don't need it. I'm naturally moist. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute! I know, right? Nigga said, I'm naturally <laughs> like moist. This nigga like stay moist, yo, bro. Okay. Hey, yo, can, can we get back to the nigga at hand? I don't know what gets him moist. <laughs> Keep you yo, nigga, no, we, 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 what we, <laughs> no, what we not gonna do is get off of this topic. We gotta stay here. No, come on, let's stay. Here. Let's you want me to play it again? No, no, but it's like the nigga compilation. That is. I so mean, can we, we talk about that more shit later? Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we, 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 we go there. Sorry. No, but okay. So, <laughs> like I said, I, I personally didn't know that this was happening. Um, yeah. In the IRE, she, I, I saw her post and I was like, oh shit, That's okay. Um, so now I'm doing my research on it. Um. Joe Rogan was in some trouble. Did you see the other story? Bro, they, they took down like 70, 80 episodes. 70. Yeah. yeah. Of him saying just negative nigga shit. Yeah. Negative. Did you see yeah. the, uh, I, that's what I said, the other video where he was talking about the, the apes. Yeah, you have that? Oh my God. That was wild. I could say it verbatim. And, and, yeah, I could actually say it verbatim. And, and what's funny, well, play it if you got it. If you don't got it, it's okay. I mean, I could. I have the whole video. I gotta like find I, that I, one I part. Can I just can I just say it? Yeah, yeah, go for it. So, um, so Joe Rogan is telling a story about him and his people saying, "Look, we gotta go into the movies. We want to see Planet of the Apes." So they look at Planet of the Apes to watch it. It takes them to a nearest movie theater. It happens to be in a black neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So he said he gets out the train or he gets out the whatever, and he's like, "Yo, we're going to go see Planet of the Apes, bro." When we got there, we were in the Planet of the Apes, right? <laughs> Like there was as in this mad like, niggas. Like, like there's there's a, a nigger, lot of nigger, nigger, like nigger, yeah, nigger, no no no. Nigger, he nigger. said we're in the planet of the apes. Like it's Yo. like we're in Africa. Right. Like there's yeah. no white people at all. And then then he says, oh that might be a little racist, but there's no white people. Like there's no white, just everyone's black. And then he goes on to say, and he used this in his apology video. I didn't like the apology. To, um, to try to say that you know he wasn't trying to be fucked up. It was really a positive mess at the end of the day. Yeah, it saying, was. He's saying uh, that he, it was you know, not. he really had no, if you watch a, a the whole, great, I did. he really enjoyed yeah. the experience. It was real cool. He's there and, do, you know, talk about black people yelling at the TV. You think that they actually do. And I'm not going to tell them not to. Who the hell am I to tell them how to enjoy their thing? Right. I get that. But. Right. There is no way. I, uh, we, I mean, I mean, I mean no, 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 no. We no. Whoa, talk okay. about it, brother. And you have a show. Oh, yeah. This in is which you can. It, it, yes. My bad. I'm still getting used to these couches. Um. <laughs> so, yo, bro, listen. If you tell me that, yo, bro, I love your shoes. These Giuseppe's is fly. Look at that Apple Watch. You clean as shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Your hat is nice. But, yo, bro, you's one real ugly motherfucker, bro. I'm not gonna hold you ugly as shit. I really. All I, I'm, I, nothing else you says matter. I am focused on the negativity that just came out your mouth. Period. So you can't go ahead and just. But that's say, how you talk. Well, that phrase that you just we, said. We can't just be focused. So why are you focused. shutting down his damn point? Well, no, because I didn't get it. In my head, I'm like, that's not. Niggas talk to each other. Go ahead, continue, continue. 
Continue. My bad. I'm 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 sorry that he messed up your point, but continue. I'm sorry. Sure Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan can't. It, 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 he he was extremely disrespectful. He called black people apes. Yes. He called us apes. He and said try- that we were. In, he walked into Africa. He tried to walk it back by saying, "But I'm not racist." Uh, but right. But right after that ape joke yeah, that he had, he says, "Oh damn, that's that was racist, wasn't it?" Yeah. See. So right. he acknowledged the fact that it was racist, that it's racist but in your apology, so, I'm not racist. So, but that's what I want to ask y'all. As a, a funny person, we're funny people. We make jokes. I've made hella racist jokes tonight, <laughs> right? But the thing with me is, if it's racist, I'll admit that. i said oh, that was definitely a racist joke. Because, uh, but, but this is what I want to know. Are we comfortable with a white comedian making a joke that's racist if it's funny? Now, don't say if, if it was funny or not, but I'm just saying, are we comfortable with that? Um, so, because so, when you said the Dave Chappelle shit, it's like Dave Chappelle make it, mad racist jokes. Yeah. So, so, so this is just how. So, so we question. have to understand that the world just works a certain way, right? I have an answer for that. I can answer it. Go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. No. no, I don't. I don't want to. No, you oh, just talk. The world, talk. the world works a certain way, right? Okay. So, um, so black people not get away with, but we've been the 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 at the end of racism so much yeah. that we are more privy. You feel me? I've heard a lot of technical racist jokes or stereotypical jokes said by white people, but you could, in my personal opinion, you can say anything you want, no matter how disrespectful. It's about how the level of taste that it that's, that's in it. It's how you say it. So if he, if you're saying say something your point, really brash or whatever. What was and, your point? You say, you, you remember your answer? Yeah, go ahead. It's just about how you say it. It's about the taste. So regardless if it's, if it's disrespectful and you didn't really have a, it's not, it's not not good delivery, then nah, bro. Don't even say that joke. Um, racism to me is it's a systematic thing, right? So a lot of things have to happen for racism to occur. Um, we have to financially castrate you. Yeah. We have to emotionally castrate you. We have to push you in the worst neighborhoods. We have to have so much control over your life that we marginalize you to a point that you can't do anything you gotta give them free crack pipes you feel me that's racism to me um it's the power over another individual another body right so when people say that black people are racist i laugh because we are not economically castrating anyone we're not socioeconomically we're not doing anything like what was done to us so we can't be racist in that term and if i'm wrong please let somebody come sit on this no, couch no, no. to educate me, right? No, no, no. But so, so the, when when I hear, um, like you said, you're you're racist. You make racist jokes. I don't think you are, and it it, it may be a marginalized prejudice. No, no, no. It's it, another p word. It's a privilege that we have because we are marginalized. We can. We That's can, a really good point. No, we, I've never. I've actually never broken it down like that. But black privilege. That's a thing. I, I, wow. I, I, I feel like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, wait. Can we take a second? No, no. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. Black privilege. No, but I, I don't want it to be taken as a joke, but... That's Charlemagne's first book, by the way. You are years yeah. late. No, no, no. But the I, hard like, copy. I, 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 I don't want to take... I don't want it to be taken as a joke, but I do feel right. like because so much fucked up shit has happened to us, we do have a privilege that we can say, no, we 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 could own this word. We right. could, we could own this. Right. We could have this hurt. We could have this pain. And you you dare bet not step on this pain. So yes, we can say a fucked up white boy joke, but guess what? We've we've kind of earned it, my nigga. Right. It took us 400 fucking years plus to earn this right here. And the kind of we've been thing. marginalized this yeah. whole time in this country. We're not going to go back in our history because we know we came from a rich place. But in in this country, in our history here, we've been marginalized the entire time. So, nigga was a term that was very offensive at one point. We then made it endearing. Now we say nigga like it's nothing. So now we took the word back. Is it means something to us now? We love it so much. So when you say it now with the hard ER and you're talking about, oh, it's a joke, it's comedy. No, bro, it's not a joke. It's, well, it's not comedy all right. anymore because we have that privilege now. We right. went through that stress and that hurt and that pain for so right. fucking long. We you can't this. do that no more. We on this. All right, so. And that's my stance on and, it. And, and so what happens is, now he wasn't making nigger jokes. Don't want to confuse the two. Because, hold on. No, can I say one thing? And then, no, no, no. No, okay, no, no. Okay, go ahead. No, I want, because literally, I, 
I, I, I had a question that I wanted to ask. Ah, but I want to make the point. Question. I feel like it's going to lead into I feel like it's a perfect segue. And then I'll shut up after I ask the question. Question, you know, I say your point. You can do that <laughs> easily. <laughs> okay. Um, is there a difference in saying the word or using the word? Okay, yeah, I gotta hold on because that's different. Yeah, that's different. Because no, no, because because no, what he get what, what he's saying. No, what, no, what, I do get it, but I want to continue. You know how you want to continue. Cool. Your, do your thing. Do your thing. Your, do your, your thing. Process. Do your thing. Do your thing. Because. Okay, he didn't. No, no, he didn't. He didn't say nigga as a joke. Like that. I, I just don't want to confuse. I'm not defending Joe Rogan, just by the way. But I, the Planet of the Apes thing. Compare. You know what I'm saying? You know how we can cut up all videos. It, well, yeah. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Like you, I, you can edit anything yeah, for your agenda. Right. It's that's, called that's propaganda. Pretty, that's a pretty long video to me. No, no. no. But it's called propaganda. Literally, no, but bro, he had no hair. No hair. No bro, hair. It was can, all you, different times. You can, dude, chop up, you can chop up Willow Wednesdays and we can say the craziest shit on it. Bro, that. I know for a fact. I've I'm, said I'm, mad. No, but I'm y'all know. to be canceled. But I'm, nigga, to be honest. Bro, if niggas listen, go back, it's going to be bad bro, for us. I say shit on purpose for the laugh. Like, Moist, shock whatever, value. right? If you go through every time I've said something weird, bruh, and, and every make, time, and every make time a clip, I say, uh, I make a reference about it being homosexual or not, while well, they're gonna, they're gonna eat yes, me yeah, that's what I'm trying to that, say. Like, so, so understanding is also that you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that yeah, video yeah. of him saying that word was through deep discussion of the word, okay, yeah. and that's why I asked the question that and, I asked, and that's different because I do now using it or saying it, I, I do think that that's different using it or now, saying it. But are there any white people? But that's why I said I want to go. That's why I want to get mine first because I like your question. But I want to ask: Are there any white people in a context where they can say the word for you know, like discussion purposes? So not like that teacher that was like nigga, nigga. Remember him? He was it, not him. That's bullshit. But I'm like, if they're discussing it, like, like that one thing that he kind of said, he was, they didn't say the context. He was like, that's why there should be a word like, or he was saying, um, I forgot what he said, but he said, that's why there's words like the word nigger, because there's words like that. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's context. I could debunk so here's, that, here, but yeah. go ahead. So, okay. Um, Just in, in conversation. No, mm-hmm. I, I get what you're saying. So you're basically, your, your question is, um, can they be able to say it just basically talking about the word? So if I'm talking about the history of, like, like is that is that what you're saying? Yeah, bro. If we talking so, about pie, and I can't say, well, you know that thing that we eat yeah, yeah, every so, time you got that thing, so, nigga. So, pie. so here was a good <laughs> point. Pie. I already was thinking about this, but um, I watch a lot of the Daily Show. Like I watch all the time. all the time. I, I Trevor, Trevor Noah. Noah. He killed. Liddy, oh my god, right? his answer. He should be president, bro. Um, but, oh, the N word. Exactly. Yeah. No, he broke that so, down. So, so literally, if all right, you, oh, all right, well, that's it. Right? Trevor Noah basically said, like, yo, we don't. Yeah, you don't have to say the N word for us to say the word nigga for us to know what you're talking about. You can uh, you can easily say the N word in any di- and everyone in any, will know. Any demographic. <laughs> That's a fact. Maybe not. Maybe six year olds and under might not know what you're talking about, but everyone's gonna understand right. the word you're speaking of. So when you go ahead and choose, as for example, like we say the B word. Right? right, we're choosing not to. You know exactly what I'm saying. Right, but now if I go ahead and just say that word. I'm going. I, I'm basically. Good point, saying, sir. I'm saying it might be a lot of b words from now on. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. I'll take I'm, my I'm, debt back. <laughs> <laughs> take my, I'm, I'm basically. Yeah. Um. I know that you are uncomfortable when it comes out of my mouth, and I am saying that yo, I don't care about your comfort level. Exactly. It's not about, it's not about me trying to compute. It's exactly. About, it's not about me trying to communicate this word. It's just me wanting to do what I feel like doing. Right. So, so when Trevor Noah broke down, like, yo, you could easily say the N-word. Because we he used known. the N-word for three minutes talking about this whole thing in, in his uh on his show. Right. And he said, for example, I've been just using the N-word, and you know, guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So I think that he's he's literally just trying to be fucked up, bro. So there's no there's no mercy for that. I get you. Uh, so so no mercy for that. So no, I agree. So no white person. Oh, oh, yes, my bad. I remember that. Go ahead. Oh, another point that Mr. Trevor Noah made, Trevor. <laughs> right, when um, you get it, you, listen, move, you, you, you gotta you gotta yeah, say you gotta say it. it. Listen, so he also said that all right, we could be we could be joking with each other because I know you, I know where you're coming from. Right. right. You could you could call me certain things and I'm not gonna get mad. Stranger call me certain things, hmm, I slap the shit out of you. We you ready, don't know, yeah, right? We're ready to get a shake in. Yeah. Um so 
a white person because of, how, because of how shaking, yeah. because of how because of you be out here shaking people. He's, he's, so old. Old. he's, he's so old. old. He's so old. He's old. You guys are out here shaking stuff. God, I don't know man, what the, how you yeah, sell your like differences. <laughs> Who can shake the most? No. So. <laughs> Is a hollow shake. I'm gonna smack So look, so look. I mean, that's how they sell the differences. So, so understand that I, whenever, whenever a I white person things. says the word "nigga," you feel me? It's I, a, it's I, a I, I don't have the time to sit down and understand. Are you being? A, are you joking? Are you? Do you secretly mean something by this? Do you, you. is there a level of disrespect coming 100%. behind it? 100%. Why do you feel so comfortable right. to just say it? Like right. your comfort level is way too high. Because not saying it shows a level of respect. Your right. comfort level is making me uncomfortable. You feel me? Because you're it well. a level of respect. You're not like No, I get it. So I, I, I get it. And that, but that's the reason why I ask you at what point is there you got a friend. We have a friend. Yeah. At what point is there what? Yeah. You says it. No, you know you're right. Who's it's nothing. Friend? You're right. Who's the friend? Is it a we, white guy? We're not gonna say names. Oh, is it a white guy? Yeah. Yeah. That's that. So you wanna know something crazy? Cause white guys that grow up with you speak how we speak. Okay, so, oh no! Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm, I'm giving a little backstory. So this individual that we're speaking of is really like one of my mans, 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 mans. It's like from the island. Like, like, man's, 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 man's. Nah, like, he just so cool. Dude. Like, <laughs> like, grew up in the same project building. Yeah. Um, fought the same people. Uh, played on the same basketball team. Like, I'm from the age of ten and on. Mm -hmm. Type shit. And he is white. But we do allow him to speak freely in that term. You wanna watch? And he's, because he grew up with us, he was in the trenches with us. We're like, we're comfortable with. Him saying that word because there's no malice, but also my whole life, everything that I've been through, he was there for, right? And he's seen, and we could connect on that level. So, I, I was like, You are right, but that's why I'm asking. No, 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 you're right because because Joe Rogan can have a friend that knew him since the fucking toddler age, and he's like, Oh, no, this that's Joe. He's like, Who grew up with 50 Cent. <laughs> yeah, facts. It's Fifty Cent and Joe Rogan. So, so <laughs> all right, so boom. It's, it's still fucked up because Tommy from Power never said nigga. Neither does Gary Owen. No, but because it wasn't written for that. No, right, no, no. That's, no. He's an actor I, in I a get, role. I get you, but oh, Tommy in real life was saying nigga. I guarantee he would. <laughs> the, the real, if the, if there was a real Tommy, so 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 that's the only thing that was missing from so how he talked. So <laughs> Tommy was like, yo, these I, niggas I was is going. Like, like, in my mind, every time I watch Power, I was like, you got seven cats. At least yo. once, because like, yo, 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 Tommy, yo, be like, yo, these niggas is tripping. We'd be like, oh, Tommy killed so much niggas. Like, let's get a cake. Go ahead, Tommy. Yeah. But but yo, <laughs> and you were celebrating the white dude killing niggas. See what I'm saying? No, how are we no, so? I'm not celebrating. He, he said he killed all these niggas. He, we're no, entertained. No. I'm entertained. <laughs> the, no niggas have killed him yet. This nigga, he got a whole series. He has he has a show. He got a whole show. But now he's killing <laughs> niggas and whites. He's <laughs> killing everybody. Kill whitey. No, I'm joking. I'm so joking. Tommy killed I'm everybody. Joking. I'm joking. <laughs> hey, clip that. I'm joking. It was a joke. <laughs> so listen, listen that's listen. racist. See, so, so, I can't be racist. <laughs> <laughs> I right. can't affect you. All right, yeah, right. <laughs> I can't. So <laughs> we gotta. So my my point on that, right? With hey, where we at, man? I've had um. So you know, I in New York. Yes. Every race is kind of privileged to say nigga. Ex I want to say except for Asians and white people, in my opinion. Right. Think we about it. That, Think, though. Hold on, mm -hmm. hold on. So when I moved down here and I started dating certain black girls. They would look at Spanish guys who said nigga, like, yo, who? You're not black. You right. can't. Did, but Drew, Spanish even is Drewski, black. Drewski had some some Spanish guy from New York on his um IG Live. His, mm. his uh could have been records. He like some funny shit. Yeah. Artists come on, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Spanish guy from New York rapping. He's saying nigga in his raps. That's cool with me. You feel me? Because there's two. I, I think when you're from different places, something is culture, and then another thing is race related. All right. And so, I, but Hispanics I, are black. But I, but, but I'll be honest. So, as a person not from New York, bro, 
that shit was weird to me. So like for me to just see Spanish people say nigga and 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 low key to me they say it too much. I ain't gonna front like mm-hmm. Spanish yeah. people. I, I, I'm not gonna be honest with you. I'm peeping now. Like anytime, like now, anytime my Spanish man's and I want Spanish man's who I love. You know what I'm saying a lot. Nah, but bro, it's too. Yo, much. Javier, shout out to you, <laughs> Julio. <laughs> Oh, nah, man. but it just be like, yo, niggas was talking crazy. Niggas is crazy because these niggas is niggas is niggas is niggas. Be be like, yo, why did why, you like, honestly, how did you triple the niggas niggas up? That doesn't even make sense. You, you only peep that because of how you view the way they should be saying it. We say that work like, bro, I recorded myself. You, okay. I've said nigga in every sentence. New, New Yorkers are the, I've heard yeah. it the we most. We champion. We champion. Yeah. We yeah. Champion. Just like down here, they champion. Uh, goddamn. Bruh. Yeah. Okay. Goddamn is the beginning, the end, and, and the, the middle, and, nigga. And the B word. Bruh. Like, and the B word. You goddamn and, and shit, goddamn. Uh, goddamn. <laughs> like, what? Men and women are snitches out here. Nah, he got to take a shot. He, I heard it. Nah, you said it. You said it. Bro, no, you said it, bro. You in, said in it. Universal no, we're not going to cheat. We're not going to cheat the system. Caught, bro. bro. Get a shot. This is actually pretty, it's pretty good. It is. It's very smooth. It's great. Yeah. I finished my point. Nah. Yes, yeah, finish your point. <laughs> Look, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, shot. Damn. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> Listen, I feel like everybody going they're gonna chop up. How many times does Lamar say the B word on the show? Oh no, you know th- what I mean? that's about to be the next Joe Rogan clip. The, the, he is so disrespectful to women. Oh, it's gonna be dope. Beat, 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 but beat, listen, beat. so with spin, in my opinion, with Spanish people, it, it, where I'm from, it's a cultural thing. You feel me? Everyone of the culture said it. I didn't really see. I didn't see white people saying it personally. I didn't see white people saying it. And. Yep. I would look at them a little weird if I saw them saying it, because this is a okay, boom. You're not you you. It's like everyone we we get it. This is a culture thing. It's not just a black thing right. in New York. Everywhere else is really a black thing, especially in the South. Fat Joe said it. I love his his take Fat on Joe that. Joe is Fat, Spanish, but Fat Joe is like he didn't even realize that he was Spanish because. He grew up in the projects. He was like with mad niggas. He was like, so that's what I knew. And he was like, and then he got introduced to his Spanish family. And I was like, oh shit, I'm Spanish too. Oh, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? But he had no idea. I thought he was white skin. But that's that's what he said. He was like, I mean, I knew I was Spanish, but I never, I never met him. I never did nothing like that. He was like, I talk like everybody else around me. Yes. So that's, that's it. I say that it's a in New York, the, the N-word is a cultural thing. Like that's our culture. But I still think. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to your mans. I get what you're saying. But it's still the point of view for white people that it's a very slippery slope. And just, it, to, very. just so just so you don't encounter certain type of pushback, yeah. you just don't say it. Because yo, but, but your I, mans go but I will say, else in the South. Let's say he go to Florida. Let's say he go to deep wherever. You know what I'm saying? But and I, he speaks with so much comfortability. They gonna check, bro. I, I, I'll answer this question. I answer Damn that it. question for you. Wait, we've gone to numerous fights. Uh, like I said, we play ball together, right? So you go to different parks, you meet different people. They don't know what's going on over there when we right. over here. And he said it, and they swung. Yeah, so we always got in the scraps. But he honestly, but that's what I'm gonna say. But like in, in always, his defense, he looks Spanish. Yeah, he does. Like so, he does. He's not a you know regular dorky but, looking. But, hey, I'm white guy. Like, yeah, he's not. Bro. He's not, bro. If but, you saw him, you would think he's Spanish. I mean, bro, That's what I'm saying. You you met him and don't even know who he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're <laughs> That's what's about funny. Off mic, but, but, yeah. but either way, either way, you thought he was a nigga like everybody else. But that's just supporting my point, though. Yeah. Of like, yo, like, due to your ethnicity, due yeah. to where you're, you know, what you technically got to check off on that right. basis or whatever. Yeah. Like, okay, boom, me. Once I'm a straight male. No matter where I go around women, mm-hmm. if I just use the B word freely, mm-hmm. they're You're going to look at me some type of it's way. A problem. It yes. doesn't matter if I got uh, my, my girls cool with me saying it. Right. I'm a, I'm a rapper. Da, 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 da. Like, they're going to regard, they're going to look at me some type of way for saying this word. Yeah. For sure. So I have to I have to know that and I got to move in accordance. And then I have to also, if I say it and I don't care. No. No, no, no. No, we're not. I'm saying, oh, I, shit. Okay. You let me know. We 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 could we could play this how you want to play this. No, no. I was just asking, do we have any more? I thought we got two more topics. You let me know. You want to do one or two? You want to? We want to be done. You be trying to like cut it out. Like you don't even do out. We we've been going for almost two. Good. No, we only going for uh, for one and a half or one. Okay. Same. I got the next topic. If y'all want to talk, let's do it. Seven more. Oh, don't be, don't be excited hey, now. Hey, bro, I saw uh, academics and um, Andrew Schultz 
uh podcast the other day. They did an interview on Andrew Schultz's joint. I'm not six a fan. hours. I'm not a fan of Andrew Schultz at all. I really he am. Am I? But listen, I really six, am. He, he's, not, really, he's very funny though. He's funny. Like he's funny. He's, 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 no, he's, he's pretty not. funny. He's pretty, and I like his, his edginess. He's but not. literally six hours. They were speaking for six hours. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. So I'm gonna ask y'all. You want to talk about Yo Gotti or you want to talk about black history and, and the pandering that these corporations are doing? Let's talk about Yo Gotti. Yeah, because hopefully that, that sounds a little shorter. Cool. Um, <laughs> the other one. <laughs> so Yo, Yo Gotti is interesting because we are artists. Okay. Um, And I feel like... This... We all are artists. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He meant that shit. <laughs> like, We're not going to marginalize him. marginalize him. <laughs> this is my no, so... um, Yo Gotti... Um, has put he's he he has put out his last album on the label that he's with. Right? No, I'm just <laughs> Don't do that. I ain't never but, heard of you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Go ahead. I'm just, I'm just the marketing scheme behind. Yo, let's it. work, bro. <laughs> I'm talking shit. Bro. So look, so the marketing scheme <laughs> behind it. Um, boy. There was a record. There's a record called <laughs> Dollar for Dollar. Bandage boy. <laughs> Call me Bandage boy. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. I'm kind of like. That was good though. That was good. You've done so good with not over talking. I'm now sorry. It's gonna ruin it. You're, you are so right. But did you hear what I said? <laughs> bandage, bandage boy. <laughs> <laughs> and all your dance moves. <laughs> that was funny. You guys are. Nah, that was funny. That was good. Yo, got it. Like I ain't working with bandage boy. Bandage boy. <laughs> all in the video. <laughs> da 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 da. You want me to rip it up? Nah, I ain't gonna rip it up. I got nah, it. Okay. So Yo Gotti on on on, Yo, you on, it on, stage. on this project, um, he has he had a record. It's called Dollar for Dollar. Uh -huh. Um, he decided to come out with a dollar for dollar challenge. So pretty much what it is, um, he put the beat out, he was rapping a four and then he, um, turned the music down and in the live video, he's like, okay, this is where y'all come in. Oh, so it would be like a back and forth, like a Jada styles kind of flow oh, with Yo Gotti. So he rapped the four, paused and he said, this, this will be yours. Open the beat up. Y'all spit your four. Did he come back in? And then he come back in with another four. Fire. Then, so then the hook came in. He said, Fire. and then he said, okay, so now my 16, which is pre-recorded, comes in. Got you. And then your 16 oh comes in. Oh my God. No, that's fire, bro. Yes. So this is great publicity, right? Fuck did right. I not think about that? I'm just saying that it, no, when you look, got that, you now have a song with your guy. Exactly. 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 So look, so so the world is like, oh, what the fuck? This is amazing. Oh, oh. And now it's marketed, it's marketed as you have a real shot. If you drop some fire shit, yeah. I'm going to reach out to you and you can really gonna be on this album. Yo. That's the allure, right? <laughs> he just so, look, he's nah, cause now I'm like, <laughs> so look, that's like, that's like so every look, artist in the world when they heard this. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so every rapper. The whole world goes crazy. Right. That, I just because, did it, bro. You saw that no, was a real moment. No one's done this before. That's genius marketing. That's fire. right. It's genius marketing. So what what do you think happens? Man. Everybody sends a fucking yeah, verse. Yeah, of course. There's hundreds of thousands of submissions. Everybody yeah, yeah, got a verse. I was tagged at least no no line, no bullshit. I was yeah. tagged 15 times. God damn. That's la that's when I stopped counting. Yeah. Yo, Willie, you need to do this. Yo, kill that. Yo, I know you got boss for this. Yo, yo, yo. Right, 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 right. Did you? I did not. Um, for my own reasons. I, I we're gonna get into those reasons, but I want to give the story first. Okay. So um Everybody drops their verse or whatever the case may be. Um, it comes out that somebody's a winner. Of course, somebody has, somebody has to win. Right. Um, his album dropped. That verse is now out. Mm -hmm. um, it just so happens that the winner of that verse was somebody who was already on his record label. You whack, bro. So now the world is up in the uproar. Because you just basically marketed your artist. It's genius marketing. Yeah, but you act, fam. But what you did do... See how disappointed I am right no, now? No, no. What, because what, what, <laughs> ha what, what happens is... <laughs> I am disappointed. What happens is... I've, I've heard this... I've, I've heard a lot of people speak about this. And they, they, they're they also talking from a, 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 a small place. piece of privilege. Right? Because they're on the other side. And they can say, well, no, that's great marketing. I, I, applause to, to Yo Gotti for being a boss and for getting the whole world on that challenge but what happens from the creatives part what happens from the individual who's not a signed artist what happens on the other side when you think that you have a shot to change your life mm. you have a shot to do something yo 
all I have to do is give my best verse ever. Mm. All I have to do is get all my friends to tag Yo Gotti under this 16 that I think is amazing. Mm. And you don't even know that the odds are so stacked against you that you're never was you're never gonna you win. You was never gonna win anyway. Um it, now it comes down to mentality. Point blank period. So I go, I, oh, I, 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 I go a step further. Just to, uh, fuck your point. No, no. Yeah, I'm just, I, I just, I'm just, I just want to. You guy, huh? No, I want to go. I want to go a step further. I want to go a step further just to wrap the story up, and then we can talk about all aspects. After the backlash came out, Yo Gotti then went live and said, "I know everybody not really fuck with me. I apologize." Yeah, yeah bro. I, 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 no, what he said was everybody not be fucking with the winner. I, what it is, what it is. But this is what we're gonna do. Whoever wants to drop a verse, whoever wants to use that song, you have universal publication rights on this record. You can now have a Yo Gotti feature. You can now take that song that's everywhere. He has his four, a four, and a 16, and the hook recorded. All you have to do is record your parts. You can now put that on your mixtape. You can put it on your album. You have a Yo Gotti feature that is legally good to go. For free. For free. That's what he did for the world. So with everything that's now encompassing this Yo Gotti scandal, drama, versus whatever the case may be. What's the question? Do we think that's bad business? Do you think that's shady? Do you think that's good business? Do you think that's beneficial? I have so many questions in it, but those are like where I'm at with it. You want to go? You want me to go? Well, you know, I'll be ready, boy. I think that was the plan the whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but was it shady or was it good business? Shady, no. Once you see the full encompassing plan, is marketing of still your song. That's a hundred some <laughs> thousand people who heard that song, whether it's with you or with me or whatever featured. Because the point is, the feature don't matter. Yeah. The the fact that a hundred thousand, let's just say a million people, a million people have now downloaded that song. Yeah. So in the hopes of getting their verse on, it's it. actually brilliant. But you plan on you plan on people's emotions and and low key that's what I mean. Listen, that's the name of the game. Now that I hear the rest of it, I'm not so upset because now I'm thinking from a genius. Oh, I did. Let's say if I did that, Kanye somewhere like damn, I should have. Yeah, yeah, yes. no, no, no. But I'm but I'm but, but, but I'm yes. but I'm dead. I'm like that's what I'm thinking now because I'm like fuck. I should have thought of that. But if I was just gonna put you on in any damn way, you know what I'm saying? It's like what the fuck? Like the song was gonna be me and Jay anyway all the time. You know what I'm saying? You got wild niggas who. But it's a hundred thousand million people who sending me shit, and I'm like, look, it's not even with all these goddamn verses. Yeah, but so. they had to download and play. You know, yeah. get that song. Yes, that's actually genius. That's second level genius. That's that's. Fuck yeah! So it's a couple. So a couple yeah. things. First, per, first of all, if you are I'm mad, I'm tired. I ain't think about that. Get, huh? I'm tired. I ain't think about that. I'm sorry. If I'm you are mad that you ain't get picked, you feel me? And he picked one of his mans, and you're like, oh my gosh, how is he gonna pick? Bro, get over it. You know what I'm saying? Keep working. Like literally, I just showed your mentality. Do you? If you want it, you're not gonna be mad that one opportunity fell through. You feel me? Especially at the fact that you were going up with at least thirty thousand other people, minimal. Yes, yeah, minimal. Small, like, small, like, yeah. like, I don't know the number, but minimal. Wait, right? let, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let so him go. that's number one. Like, yo, yes, yes. Damn, you wish that it would have been you, but he plays man's own. Cool. Here's a here's another thing. He just now pushed you. Like, you had needed a challenge for you to lay the best verse of your life. He just now pushed you to lay the best verse of your life. You had to get into your super duper bag to lay this verse. Right, tap into your best self, and then he says the verse that you lay now. You get to keep it. You have a free. Fuck that! I'm about to do it. I'm you sorry. You have a free. I'm... You have a free feature. <laughs> it's the first time I'm hearing this. I'm sorry. You have a free feature from Yo Gotti, and you got to understand that if yes, if your your your, your mixtape or whatever blows up, it's gonna get back to his ears, bro. Like, y'all don't think so? I'm, I'm letting you go. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Whatever you have blows up, it's gonna get back to Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti's gonna see it. He's gonna hear it, blah blah blah. Either way. I think it's a great it's great marketing. I think it's really good on both sides. Um I just personally it is it it does for the emotional it it does seem messed up cuz it's like yo why would you make me do this? But it's like bro, okay, it's not your, not, not, not what you thought it was, but it still works out for you at the end of the day. And what if he liked his man's burst the best? I get everything you say, and I'm not even going to say but. 
but. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not going to say but. Um, we, yes we learned, and. We learned yes and. Yes and. Um, um, I will say this. Um, it's a different emotion when... Scratch that. Okay. You can't skip steps in anything. Right? There's no such thing as skipping a step. You got to go through what you got to go through to get where you want to get to. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go through that hardship because if it was easy, everybody would do it. Right? So we all need to understand that there is a fucking... There's there's a hierarchy that you got to get through. There's a fucking chain of command that you got to get through. Very few, like a small percentage of people just skip steps. Tall people. It's... It's not a norm. Lamar, you be skipping right. steps, nigga. It's, all it's ass, not nigga. a norm, right? <laughs> all ass, nigga. Jason, Jason never skips steps. So, <laughs> so it's not a Jason norm, takes right? Every step. Every, you got every single. I'm sorry. It's not a norm, right? So where where I where I'm opposed to your 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 stance, yeah, is creatives know that. You, you're not going to skip a step. We know that. You got to go through what you got to go Listen, through. Listen, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get petty. Go ahead. Because <laughs> he's, he's, he's trying to hold yes. it. So I hate you. Yo, you but from a creative standpoint. But creatively. So, no, yes. Definitely. To create, for a creative. You got to start small. When, no, no. When you, when you hear yeah. of an opportunity. Right. And people put that opportunity in your face numerous times. Right. right. This is like a, yo, yo, L's. Yo, you can do this, bro. Yo, yo this is perfect. Right, yo, yo, right. Da, 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 da. right. Now you're like, okay, shit, this is an opportunity. And you think that the playing field is yeah. leveled. Right. That may be your, your, your naiveness. It, it may be your, your premature mindset, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to chalk it up to. But you still would hope that in life you do have a fair shake at something. Ooh. No, nah, that's right? true. And... It's tough to tell somebody, oh, well, just chalk it up, bro. Like, yeah, he went with his mans, but we all go with our mans, so deal with it. It's kind of tough when you're dealing with something that's creative. Right. Individuals actually sat with that and came up with whatever they came up with and put out their best product in the hopes that they would catch the ear of something. Right. And when it now it shapes out that, to be honest with you, I don't. The reason why I don't do challenges and the reason why I don't do verses and the reason why I don't do wild shit, everybody, everything that's ever happened in social media, everybody tags me. Yo, right. Willa, do that. Yo, send a verse. Yo, do that. I'm not doing none of that stupid shit. Why? It's not going to fucking pan out. Why? It's not going to pan out. Why? You can't tell me who it's panned out for. Everybody who's on right now, you can't tell me one person that made it from a fucking challenge. What happens is all these challenges are meant for the artist who's doing the promotion. This is promotion. So because I know it's promotion, I'm not going to feed into your machine. I'd rather work on what I'm working on and put out what I got to put out. And in the hopes that the world catches up to what I'm doing. Because if I get into the, I'll go a step further. The whole last year with the fucking COVID shit, the world was shut down. Nobody was performing. Nobody was doing nothing. Right. What were artists doing? Artists were reaching out to people saying that they were dope and amazing saying that, that oh i want to work with you yeah the game i got i got I, I still got in my phone i got dms from the game i got dms from dc young fly yeah i got dms from Corny dave Fly. east um Corny. i got dms from jada kiss which broke my fucking heart i got dms from mad artists now it might be their camp it might be whoever it is i don't know but this is from their check blue check page saying yo you're dope i want to fuck with you that is fire how can we get your career off because you're the next one and we're going to make you the star what happened to what happened to those conversations what happens is they feed your hunger and then charge you a buku amount of dollars so now it's yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're fire, you're amazing. Give me 15 grand for the 15 grand. I'm gonna give you a drop on your next project, and I'm gonna give you a record that's not gonna be cleared by anybody. So an artist can't even use that. What I'm saying, there's so much legal jargon that's going on, and the quote unquote higher ups can prey on the fact that artists 
are hungry for an opportunity. Mm-hmm. So when I saw this, I literally saw, oh, that's a cash grab. Oh, that's a that's an opportunity grab. He's gonna get that record out to millions. <laughs> Everybody's gonna record their verse. Nobody's gonna get it. But the compilation prize is now you can have the song. And what's gonna happen for the next year and a half? Every project you hear is going to have that same song with the same beat, with the same verse, with the same everything. And now it's, it's there's no longer, it's only good if it's exclusive. If Els had a project with a Yo Gotti verse on it that nobody had, that's exclusivity. That means something. If somebody else had, if everybody else had the same access to that same verse, it's not exclusive. It's worthless. It means nothing. I, I get what you're saying. I get it. Um, how I see it where, so yes, the, the, everyone being able to have access to the same verse thing. I get that. It's not as exclusive. You it's know what trash. I'm it's not, it don't really mean as much. It means I've nothing. I've heard it a thousand times. I get you. My thing is with the reason why I would recommend that you do challenges or anyone does challenges or anything that's in their niche is because it is exposure. You feel me? As an artist, you need, as a, 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 anyone in business, exposure is king. You feel me? Marketing is king. So there were a lot of artists who I um or found out about because they did a cover of a, a song. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And they bodied the cover better than the actual artist, right? There's um people who did remixes to certain beats. Like I remember um I was nigga. Yeah, Wayne so, killed everybody's uh, shit. Uh, Wayne we, we <laughs> Wayne Jack has Reese. yes. Jacquees' Jack Jack whole career is um, fucking covers and remakes. Uh, 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 Tory? Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So a lot of covers and remakes and them doing their own spin of a known song. Mm-hmm. We go ahead and listen to the song because we're familiar. We go ahead and like, you know what I'm saying? Jump on it because we're familiar. Yeah. And then it takes off. Another thing, for example, the challenges, the TikTok dances, the 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 um all, any little dumb challenge that's I, happened I, I, in the honestly, past. I, I honestly was gonna bring up TikTok as you were talking. TikTok yeah, so any little dumb challenge is actually like a trend that everyone's doing. Mm-hmm. When you do it, exactly from you know us talking about just marketing in general. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's on that. You know what I'm saying? So yes, it's not gonna prove actual dividends, but you're bringing more eyes and more attention towards you and what you have to offer. So now it's just you by now you doing that, you're passing on an opportunity. Have more eyes. See what you because they're niggas. People are out there looking for li- listening to these remakes and the 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 I can't remember. There was like a, somebody did a remake. A whole bunch of people did freestyles or something, and there was like a couple that people. Oh, Fab. Fab. Um. Fab the, the, was so Brooklyn. The, um. No. The um. It was so Brooklyn, right? So New York. So where the hell are you from? <laughs> Wasn't that Fab? It wasn't the summer joint. Nah, I thought Fab did a um. No, he did it because I did it. Yeah. So, oh, the, the 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 challenge over the the Monica beat. Was it not so Brooklyn? So, no, that's so gone. No, no, I was it so Brooklyn. I want to say I'm so. Oh I'm yeah, so yeah, it was. I'm, so it was doing COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so Brooklyn. I'm so Brooklyn. I'm so Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, I'm so yeah, Brooklyn. yeah, yeah. I'm so yeah, Brooklyn. yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of okay. art. Well, let me ask. Like, mm-hmm. well, I I I saw a lot of dope people that I followed. Because I saw them kill a right. beat, and especially if they kill a beat, and then I heard other people that didn't really kill it. I'm gonna rock with them. More. So I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what. Pull the Vic, pull the cake back. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what social media has taught me. Um, a hashtag that is going viral will bring you a lot of attention, but social media, if it's good enough, will bring you a lot of attention. Yeah. And the reason why I know this to be true. Right now on TikTok, shit is going fucking nuts in my phone for no reason. Like, for no reason. Like, it's stupid. Mm-hmm. Off of just other content that you post has nothing to do with whatever challenge you're talking about, right? Um, Russ had an open verse kind of thing on TikTok, which was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was actually his song, his verse. His face was on it. He was like, yo, drop your verse right now after my hook. And he was just reposting people, doing whatever he got to do. And that shit was cool because now you see the the fruits of your labor right then and there, right? It wasn't a promise to be on blah, blah, blah. It literally right. was, this is what it is. We're going to keep it right here. It's dope. 
get your views up because this is a small pocket of space right now, right? Mm. You don't have to jump in with every trend. And I'm talking to the creatives, right? To the artists. You don't have to jump on every trend or jump on every challenge yeah. in the hopes of getting on because that's what's going on. You can put out the shit that you were going to put out anyway. And if it's dope, it's going to get the fuck on. Yeah. Yeah. I promise you I'm I'm a fucking I'm, I'm a I, spokesperson of that right now cuz I did nothing that was trendy. Mm. At all. I, and you get 30,000 views and 600 comments you're like what the fuck is going on? Because you're good. Yeah. My issue with the whole thing and just to tie you well, you left and came back. So fuck you for coming in here with your face shaking and shit. Your yeah, you change you want the pens, motherfucker. But no. Man. I, I, I do want to say Whoops. I I do want to say just <laughs> just to the people in the position to change people's lives like don't don't look at it as only a business and it's hard to do that because the bottom line is making money of course mm -hmm. but you need to understand that people actually put their lives yeah like their livelihood on mm -hmm. the line there's a lot of people who don't pay rent but they go to the studio there's mm -hmm. a lot of people that argue with their baby mothers baby fathers whatever the case may be <sighs> Money issues just so they can record their gift, and their those talent. The same people doing opioids. So the good news is y'all will get free crack pipes uh, if it don't work out. Uh, we uh, definitely appreciate Yo, you. I'm done. Um, Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro, that's... I, I, I am going to do the. Uh... <laughs> I'm done. Go ahead. Yo, is Go ahead. It... I am going to I am going to do topics? the Ogadi song though. Now that I know that this opportunity is available. Are we, are we done with all the topics? <laughs> but then that's it, man. Let's let, no, we chose that one. <laughs> no, no, you, you you but you you missed the, you missed what I said about the Yogadi thing. Just to, to cause you were gone. Okay. If the whole world has the same verse, yeah, it's no longer exclusive. Right. So what's gonna happen for the next two years? Everybody's gonna release their Yogadi song with the Yogadi verse. That's what's up. It's gonna be on everybody's project. Yeah, right. But what's the value in that? That's the question. Um, what's yes. The, what's the value in that? The value you got is, the same thing everybody else got. Yeah, but but the value is, is a two year old kid is going to have Goo Goo Gaga on the same shit that you got, and you're going to think that's something special. But but the value is is that number one. That's why I said it was marketing genius because it's going to keep your Gotti going for the next two years. I'm not talking business. But We're talking just, about benefiting. I'm, I'm, no, I'm no longer talking business. And I get. Oh yes, and okay. <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. No, and um, for for that one person who has never had a feature before. They've never done anything outside of just, you know, putting their little songs up and then get nowhere. Um, it can actually change the lives of, 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 like you say, that one person who is waiting on everything, you know, and even if... To have a record that everybody else has? Kind of, because cause what happens is... You can go on LimeWire and do that. That's nah, what we did. Nah, but it's a small step that through marketing can help. Because I promise you right now, my fan base don't listen to Yo Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My specific biggest target fan base is skaters, hip hop heads, Dilla heads. It was Dilla birthday the other day. Oh shit! Happy birthday, Dilla! You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday, Dilla! Rest um, in peace. My that's my fan base. If I posted, I got a song with Yo Gotti. Everybody gonna be like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> it's not a. They're not because everybody saw what's going. This this I'm is mainstream. I want to test your theory. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see it. I didn't either. I didn't know nothing about you're, it. You're what? You're what? You're, you're, whatever you're, you say, you're going to prove his point. I'm really not. Okay. He's 87. He's not in that space either. But we're, so what So what were you going to say? But he's 27. I'm, I'm, I'm saying you're not a creative in the space right now. Understand. Yeah, but I'm a, I'm a consumer. So am I is, not is, a consumer? Is, is, I don't is, listen to music? The challenge wasn't for people who listen to music. No, no. The, 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 just hear me out because I like that point. The challenge wasn't for consumers. The challenge was for creatives to create the best shit. So the reason why it popped wasn't because people were listening. It popped because everybody dropped the verse on it. Yes, but his point was that a consumer who hears their favorite underground or favorite regular person, like, or favorite artist that's on the up and coming, they hears them and now they, oh, wow, they have a song with Yo Gotti. They're going to share it. But gonna... if that same song that they're sharing is public knowledge that everybody has access to it. Well, again, you're saying everyone has access. Again, 
I didn't hear. That you didn't nobody, know that. I didn't know that. Right. Like so. So so. So here's, right. Here's so what I, to, here's what I learned. But, but, but that's why I, I said he's on the outside. Guys, he here's what I, know that. No it's not outside inside. It's not an outside it's, inside. It's different bro. levels. Here's what I realized. Right. The right now. Is a, it's 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 black people only thirteen percent of this country. Very small. Right. Very small. Six percent, seven percent men and and, and women. Yep. You feel know I me? Mean? Mm -hmm. Very small. Very very small percentage. So many times in our own bubble, we feel like yo. If I look at my if I look at my timeline and I see it at least five times, everybody knows about this. What I'm telling you is I didn't even know Yo Gotti one had an album, two did this challenge. Mm -hmm. So my mm -hmm. circle of people on my gram mm -hmm. also don't really know. You feel me? Okay. So now if I go ahead and repost right. and post or whatever, right now more people are going to be privy to the knowledge. And regardless if they listen to Yo Gotti or not, they know that Yo Gotti's name is a big deal in the hip hop community. Mm -hmm. Right. And if you kill a song with Yo Gotti, it just brings you more popularity. So as I was saying before, I, I, bro, I as it. I was I saying it. before, I get it. It's a marketing opportunity no, it's, it's, at the end. Not, bro, not, business side is no, amazing. No, 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 no but but no, 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 but for not, you too, not for, Yo not for him. And I'll tell you why. I'll not tell you why. Gotti for 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 the person in particular because, as I said before, I'm not. I I you didn't know my people, my circle. There's a lot of circles who are not gonna know uh, about this right. Like here. real talk. Yo Gotti. I don't know. If you would have just did it plainly, yo dang. I got a song with Yo Gotti. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. But that, but that's why I, I, I preface everything by saying you're just older. So No, but... Ah, it's a different no, demographic of No, he don't know. So he posted. We're, 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 Bari don't know. Bari posted. Bari knows. Bari, well, well, but Bari also ain't got no followers, so fuck if Bari posted or not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> it just don't matter. You know, six oh people see it. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, straight up. Like, who the fuck no, cares? No, no, no. So in but, my but, circle, <laughs> my circle of people... Yeah. Won't know. Right, but I have a bit. You're I have tripping, a, bro. You're in the south. They know about your guy. And they nah, know but about but, the but but he's but, bro. but I get it. <laughs> they, but you're I, not gonna. I'm, I'm sorry, no, no, fam. But that's but the that's, reason why I use my circle. I got a lot of circle with people that's that's into the this shit. I do skate music. I got a lot of southern people. Wait, so you're gonna tell me that my circle knows about your Gotti? Yeah, you know, no, no, wait. You're my Atlanta circle. circle? Listen. Yes, they, yes, they know listen, about your Gotti. So wait, you're, you're crazy. No, 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 no. Crazy or what? Can I finish? Sure. So you're going to tell me that my circle is a big fan of Yo Gotti, where they know exactly, they know the name. I think everyone knows the name, right? Probably but they're, 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 they're going to know exactly the trend, right? Let me go ahead and just prove you wrong. I, I, I'll tell you why they would know. Okay. All right, why would they know? Because this hit almost every mainstream platform that you can speak of. I got you. So this 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 isn't just Yo Gotti dropped the mixtape. But we're yeah, examples but, in showing you that uh, our circles wouldn't know because okay, we didn't know. Uh, uh, so you think about it, I'm, I, I'm dropping in the group chats right now. Yo, y'all heard that Yo Gotti's doing a thing? He's gonna be like, Yo Gotti did what? Huh? So I'm 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 letting you know. So, so the point is, all of those news, people would be a fan of that song that you made, hypothetically. You know what I'm saying? Your hypothetical song. They, they would have to Google search it, right? They would have to search it to get the no, song. No, he right? would. You finish it, he shares it. Bro, that's I, my man. That's Jay Willer. Oh, that's what's up. That's dope. Like, I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, the song that I make, you would have to share. <laughs> this it, fake right? ass song. <laughs> you would have to share it, right? right. So you was the, the name of the song. The name of the song is Dollar for Dollar. Gotcha. So you'll type in Dollar for Dollar mm -hmm. to to because you gotta you gotta download the song, right? right? You then see a thousand dollar for dollars. Nah, dollars way more than that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> make my point for me. But please. you would just have to say, <laughs> say the one feature of my bro, name. But do you understand that? How many? That Come shit on, is bro. trash. I'm sorry. It's trash. I'm sorry. It's trash. Yo, 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 listen. If you don't want to take the it's marketing trash. opportunity to go ahead and it's get trash. your name pushed out to different circles, once again, don't do it. Once, once again, he did from, it. That's. From, that's that's uh, in my opinion, what, I think that's a waste of an what, opportunity. The whole time I'm what, sitting there like, yeah, I'm gonna probably do that. That's why. Yeah, it's no, a waste yeah, of an yeah. opportunity. Dude, go ahead, please. Yeah. What, what I'm saying is, you're, you're talking to somebody who's wearing two different hats right now, right? So if you're talking about the the, you're the only old, wearing one, understand? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Cool. So anyway, like I was saying, right? So um, ITG Entertainment is a whole business, correct? Um, so if I if if I've, I've had that hat on. I'm looking at it like that is fucking genius marketing. I've never seen anything like that. Right. We need to duplicate that. Okay. The artist has another hat on, right? The artist is now like, I see what you're doing, but because I saw how the outcome was, that's kind of corny and I'm not going to rock with that. I'm not going to blame that artist for not doing that. And that's what I'm, what everything that you're saying right now, I get it. Cool. Right. I'm not going to blame that artist. Like, 
I'm not going to do that because that shit is wild corny. Why the fuck would I want the same song that everybody's fucking got? Why so would then, I want that? So then why That's do, not exclusive. So then why do a remix to anything? Why remix any hot song? That's stupid. I'm going to tell you why it's stupid because remix means something changed, right? <laughs> Wait. But let let me know if I'm wrong. Let, no, let me know if I'm wrong. Remix means something changed. Exactly. You're going to get the same verse. No. no. You're going to get the same... So so I've I've, wow. I've listened to, I've listened to hella remixes where niggas said their same line the person just added their verse to it. Am I tripping, Dan? Nah, not that. I mean, they, it's the same exact song. It would be a different song if Eminem did the Yo Gotti remix. It'd be a different song they, if Busta Rhymes did the Yo Gotti was, remix. No, 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 It'd no. be a different song, bro. And, and there's also remixes where they the, the the actual artists come and spit a different verse. Yeah, but no, you feel me? But they're all but, different. No, you don't. It's a remix. But you rap on remixes all the time. Well, you take a song that someone else put out and you add your verse to it. I mixed up, Jay. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all got it. Y'all I'm just it. mixed up. I'm, oh, saying, I'm just I'm, I'm mixed up. You got it. You got it. You got it. I just, won't be hearing about Jay Willa anytime soon with any Yo Gotti verses. <laughs> <It's something. laughs> You're not gonna do it. You, you, y'all got it. All right. We're gonna have to take one of Jay Willa's verses. Find the right cadence and add it. All <laughs> right. Could you imagine if you did that? Nah, I got a whole nother idea. If we, if you give me, you telling me I can use this song and your verse is the way, I'm a producer, bro. We, that's just coming with some different. Yo, shit. you about to get seven songs with you spitting in your cadence. <laughs> <Nigga>. Same verse. <laughs> yeah, I take it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. If Jay did that, if Jay Z did that, it's still not cool to me. You wouldn't want you wouldn't want to be on the whole feature. It's not cool to me because it's not me. a whole. No, it's no. Not, it's what not. you're selling, what you're selling yeah. is that God you can possibly get a verse of your lifetime, and then no, I, I, Meth I, I, Bleak get the song. But <laughs> go ahead, you can use the song still. That's fucking corny. Can we get up out of here? I'm done talking to these niggas. Yo, we out, yo. Willow Wednesdays. I love y'all. Yeah, like, bad. share. You no, y'all niggas is wilding right now, bro. I love y'all. Wilding? Like and share the comment. Wow, really? Love, lo- lo- yo, wilding? like and share. Drop a comment. Mad, yeah, I'm glad. Real. I'm glad that we can have these open conversations. Shit, no Joe song. Rogan, stop saying nigga. I don't fuck with you for that. Uh, what, what else we got? The recap. All Caucasians. Let's do a recap. Let's, let's, let's do a quick recap. All, right, all, right. all white people. Let's yo, please. go to your local hood and get all the crack pipes you want. <laughs> crack pipes. What else? Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Next. Uh, next. Rest next. in peace to uh, um, Freeway. Freeway. Love. Yo, yo, Sending you love and healing energy, bro. Love. Love. Freeway. Just throw that in there. That's real. Keep it going. Freeway. Recipes of freeways. I said it wrong. Freeways. Freeway. Freeway. Children. Children. My Recipes bad. But no. Children. Sending you, send you healing. But sending energy freeway for that. healing energy. For that. Absolutely. Straight yes. up. Um, Thousand percent. What else do we do? I do this part. Joe Rogan. Cut it out. No more niggas. Okay. Cool. No more Got you. What else we, we talking about? I think. We, um, we, we didn't even talk about the black. We gonna talk about that next week. Cool. We hit it next week. It's still black. But we good. We straight. We straight. We out, man. We let's be out. Let's be out. Let's Love be out. Oh. Stop sucking dick at uh parties. Oh, Stop you got it. Sucking dick at sipping paints. That's it. But if you <laughs> <laughs> but, but on February 12th. All right, all right, all right. All right. On, on February 12th, 12th. If you feeling frisky, sipping paints. Right, cool, cool, cool. Listen, cool. February 12th, we got a sipping dick. Y'all. Just know. See y'all next um, week. Shout out to Comedy Hype. Bow. Um, <laughs> shout out to all the sponsors. Oh, we about to break the chair. We out of here. <laughs> Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace. Bow.